this is my first official ebook of college football 25 man i hope y'all boys are excited man so basically i took everything that i've been teaching y'all in all my individual videos and i collabed it into one video so y'all can just take this video and just go down the list and slowly just learn everything in one video so y'all make sure to hit the like subscribe to the channel if y'all new man click that sub button because it did take a lot of time and effort to get this done so it would be much appreciated if y'all just take a second of your time to go ahead and sub to the channel um also boys if y'all are new man make sure to join the discord and we are going to get this thing where it's really active so y'all make sure to click that link down below to join the discord but without further ado boys we could go ahead and get into this ebook yeah, out of the deuce close so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all some heat out of this formation so first things first i'm gonna go ahead and start off with this half bat swing this play is gonna work against basically every zone coverage every man coverage in the game uh it's very consistent if you need to pick up about five to ten yards to pop the way you want to wait make this play work you kind of want to wait until the running back gets um towards the sideline the closest that he can actually get towards the sideline so you kind of want to time this, so kind of wait a little set, and then go ahead and throw it to him. Once that tight end is kind of in front of him, and that's just going to consistently pick you up yards. And I'm going to show you guys, if you throw it too soon, it doesn't really work the same. It does, but well, it still works the same, but it's way better if you go ahead and wait uh, wait it out. The reason being, you can go ahead and make your, like, your moves to your tight end is able to get into that second block. And basically, you're going to be able to consistently pick up yards, whether it's man, zone coverage, just does not matter. Uh, I'll go ahead and show y'all uh, what it, what happens against man coverage. We'll just use a cover one hole. Uh, go ahead, just run it back. As you can see, it might actually work better against man coverage, depending on the situation. I think, depending on if your opponent is actually blitzing, this can actually really go for a touchdown. Um, especially depending on who your running back is. Now we do have another screenplay that works very consistently out of this formation as well. It is going to be uh, the RPO read flat. But the thing about the RPO read flat, it works more consistently against zone coverage. So I wouldn't recommend using this against uh, man coverage at all. You can, you're not going to throw an interception or anything, but you're just not going to pick up yard. So as you can see, uh, same as that thing, just using the tight end, but a different result. Uh, usually you're gonna pick up a decent amount of yards every single time. At a very minimum, you're gonna be picking up about five yards at the very minimum. So if you wanna pull this out of your hat, uh, you're usually gonna at least pick up about that five to 10 yard mark. And depending on who your tight end is, as y'all can see, you can actually take it to the crib. Even though we are playing with Georgia, Georgia has some stars everywhere, as y'all know. But this is consistent really consistent working against any zone coverage like i said five to ten yards consistently does not matter who your tight end is uh working against man coverage does not work the same I'm gonna show y'all this right now uh but it will work you're just only probably gonna pick up about like two to three yards so if we go ahead and run this that's how i didn't get through it but we actually go ahead and run this back real quick boys as you can see it does work I mean, it still works. And it might actually work more consistently too, but I would say it really works against zone coverage the best every now and then, depending on who's on that tight end. And if your opponent is playing like a nickel set, uh, it's not going to work as good. As y'all can see, uh, they're more on it, even though we're still consistently getting yards. So both of these screenplays that I showed y'all with the running back and the tight end, you can basically use it against zone or man. Uh, for the most part, I find that the running back one is more consistent against man coverage. But this one does work against man coverage too if you do want to try it. It's just I feel like it doesn't get you as many yards when you're actually in game playing people a lot of the times. But it does still cook man coverage just depending on uh, what your opponent is really doing. So these are two really good screenplays that y'all can go ahead and utilize out of the deuce close. Um, now moving on, I want to show y'all some more plays. This play X shallow cross. This is going to be a play that you can basically use against zone coverage. Uh, any zone coverage does not matter. Cover three, cover four, cover two. Uh, just working there against a cover three. All you want to go ahead and do with this play, boys, you want motion over your square receiver. Uh, put X on a drag, put circle on inside post. But you want to make that inside post deeper. So what you want to go ahead and do, boys, you want to press triangle. 
press circle and then you want to press L1 your top left bumper and then after that you want to use your left stick and you want to just move it up one notch and that's just gonna make them go deeper so that's the tip right there if y'all didn't know man go ahead and hit that like button just to show some love if you didn't know about that subscribe to the channel if you are new but next thing you want to do just go ahead and block it running back the read that we're going to be looking uh for on this play it's going to be triangle x and circle do get open as well uh like right there i shouldn't do that at all that was more like a cover three match concept people don't usually use match concepts but as y'all can see it's basically like man coverage and this play isn't strong against man coverage so gonna do the same as that setup boys wait for triangle to clear as you can see it's usually money but that's how they're actually covering i'm not gonna lie so let's go ahead and run this back usually it's really consistent so um let's go ahead and run it back one more time so same as that setup kind of just want to wait for triangle to kind of clear but right now they're doing like match concepts which is kind of killing the play but i'm telling you guys when you run this against an opponent it really does cook so we're gonna go ahead and just run it back uh really quick and hopefully this time around i can actually show y'all how it works if not, I may have to actually go to a regular cover three. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go to a regular cover three for just to show you guys. And then I'll go to a cover two and a cover four. So we're going to go to the same play. Let's just go to cover three, Scott, because that match is just cooking us. I might have to start running matching um in my like my matches because that match is doing something different. Boy, that thing got everything getting covered. But this time, if we actually wait it out without getting sacked it's just they don't want me to be great right now boys they don't want me to show y'all this play but i'm telling y'all this is one of those plays that it is really consistent it's gonna cook your opponent a lot of the time it's just having the time to kind of throw it as y'all can see it's gonna be open every single time for the most part uh a zone drop doesn't even really get there unless your opponent is setting his junk to like 30 and if he's doing that just go ahead and just throw to the x the circle receiver man uh, as you can see, X is going to be open a lot of the time. Even a circle is going to be open a lot of the time. But I also got a play. And I'm going to be showing y'all that's just going to attack the middle of the field. And just leave your opponent just kind of lost. So, I'm going to go ahead and run this back. Hopefully, we get enough time. We do. As y'all can see, it's money. Uh, Words against cover four, cover two. Same as that way. Same concept. Same setup. Now, moving on, I want to show you guys how to tap the middle uh, basically how to attack the middle of the field. We're gonna be using bench dig curl uh, We're just gonna work this against a cover three really quick What you want to go ahead and do is just put triangle on the street You want to put X on a drag and block your running back uh, the read on the play you can hit X Coming across just like this But really the read on the play the majority of the time man, it's almost money every single time It's against every zone coverage in the game doesn't matter cover three cover two cover four it's going to be the circle receiver as you can see it's just that triangle tight end just takes all the middle linebackers all the safeties out of the play and we we'll go to the instant replay right here as y'all can see look as soon as he comes across so he's he's right here he's covered as soon as our tight end he's the clear out he's clearing him out and basically he's going to be wild open every single time and from here to about here he's going to be wide open because this corner route is just taking everything on this side and just occupying everything so for the most part this is going to be a free first down every single time um against zone coverage as y'all can see it's going to work every single time possession catch it i recommend every single zone coverage i'm telling y'all boys it's going to be open um and that's just going to be another thing that you can go ahead and mix into this formation if you feel like you got a little bit more space you can rack catch it i just prefer to possession catch it because sometimes i get random drops for some reason on this game and i just hate it and just a lot of times i'll be clutching up bro i'll be really clutching up and then i'll just drop something that that is really key to the game so moving on y'all can see that's money and if you made it this far into the video, man, type W, bro, in the comment section. I hit a like, bro. Show some love. And subscribe, bro. It's totally free. Only take a second of your time. And also, I'm going to be showing y'all this RPO read flat. Man, if y'all play it, Madden, y'all remember this one. This is going to be working against uh, zone coverage, every zone coverage in the game. Uh, it even works against man coverage as well. You just motion over your tight end. This one is going to probably pick you up. 
about two to three yards if you need that consistent uh, say it's like third and two, third and one this is kind of that play that you want to go ahead and pull out of your arsenal. That's basically going to get you that first down. It can definitely pick you up a lot more yards than that, but I'm just saying at a very minimum, third and two, fourth and two, you in the end zone. You need a play that's just going to get you in the end zone. This is going to be the play that you want to go ahead and run, and it's going to consistently just get you those yards or that touchdown that you need. Now, moving on, man. If you made it this far into the video, man, I'm going to show y'all some heat. Um, so the last play that I'm going to be showing y'all in today's video, also you got this inside zone. Uh, this inside zone is a really good one, so I'm going to just go ahead and show y'all that real quick. Anytime you run the ball, two boys never hold the acceleration button. Uh, it's just going to mess up the run play. Uh, but as you can see, they just stuff it anyway. But for the most part, anytime you do a running play, never, never hold that, uh, that boost button. Even though they got that DT going crazy. So, uh, let's see if we can kind of just double team him. See if that helps. So, as you can see, this run play is, is really good once we can actually get some blocking. Um, and you want to go ahead and mix in all that stuff. If you want to confuse your opponent too, uh, you can always start motioning people. You can motion him over since we got the one play, how we've been motioning. And just go like that and do stuff like that. Um... And I just want to see something right now, too, boys. It might be better anytime you run this just to double team this guy. Uh, maybe it's just that they got this DT going crazy right now. Um, but it seems like, yeah, he, he's just cooking. But you want to go ahead and miss this inside zone and with all the passing plays that I showed you on today's video. And it's just going to keep your opponent occupied and he's not going to know what to do. And with the uh, motion in, uh, you can motion your tight end just like how I showed y'all how to motion. Uh, the receiver out and all that stuff and kind of just keep your opponent confused and not knowing what you're gonna run now we're gonna go back to the shallow cross boys uh, i'm gonna be showing y'all a money play man you only want to pull this out when um kind of once or twice a game to kind of surprise your opponent what you want to go ahead and do you want to put x on the street you want to block your running back and block your tight end you want a smart route circle you do that by uh pressing his icon and pressing r1 your top right uh bumper and after that you want motion over your square receiver and put him on a comeback route like this and you just want to wait for circle to clear and as circle clears you'll see it's going to be a one play touchdown uh you want to make sure to have your fastest receiver right there boys now this is going to work against a cover three this is going to work against a cover two i mean not cover two this is going to work against a cover three and this is going to work against a cover four uh it does not work against cover uh two so just keep that in mind when you're running it uh, but like I said, cover three, cover two is going to work. Uh, it can't even work against man coverage, but you got to have somebody really, really fast for the most part. So I don't really recommend using that against man coverage. But yeah, this is going to be your money play for cover three and cover two. Be showing y'all how to beat. It's going to be cover two, man. We're going to be using the MTN fake screen wheel, uh, working this against a standard cover two. So with this play, you got two options. You got circle and you have square. Those are going to be your reads on this play. Uh, we, of course, want to go for that bit read. That's going to be circle. So we're going to wait. As you can see, circle is going to be wide open. Boom. That is a big gainer out the gate. So all you want to do is just use this play as thought. You don't have to do anything to it. This is probably the easiest play that I'm going to be showing y'all in today's video. So um, y'all just make sure to kind of utilize that. And that time I just forced it. So if circle isn't open, you want to go ahead and just take square. I'm just kind of really trying to show y'all how circle gets open, but you can always take square. And a lot of the time square is going to pick up about like five to 10 yards as a check down. Uh, but if you know that your opponent is in cover two, most of the time you can go ahead and just use this play. Yeah, I would say most of the time this tight end is going to be open. Uh, depending on who you have there, it can actually be a touchdown. Now moving on boys, moving on, showing y'all some more heat of uh, this formation. Uh, we are gonna be using an MTNPA verticals, man. This is gonna be our cover three beater uh, out of this formation. Uh, so what you wanna go ahead and do with this play, uh, you wanna put circle on a uh, corner route. And I love this about college football. Basically, you don't need a hot route master. You can just do whatever you want to. So you wanna put circle on a corner route you want to go ahead and block x you want to go ahead and block r1 and what you want to go ahead and do boys you want to motion square over this is like a madden classic right here boys and uh it does translate to college football but what you want to go ahead and do too 
you want to actually make triangle uh, route actually shorter you do that by smart routing what you want to do you want to double tap triangle and just click your right uh, top bumper and then that's going to smart route your receiver and as y'all can see if we can get enough time here wait for triangle to kind of clear that's how we throw a pick but we go to the instant pleat uh, replay real quick I can show you guys as well that this play is money it's just really having enough time for this play to develop y'all can see uh, once he gets past his safety it's basically a one play touchdown um this is kind of one of those plays where you want to mix and you don't want to abuse it if you know that your opponent is in cover three uh, go ahead and use it once or twice uh, i wouldn't say to use it any more than that honestly because your opponent is just going to run back there uh immediately but as y'all can see it's going to be money it's just whether or not you have enough time to go ahead and get that pass off going over the adjustments one more time you want to go ahead and put circle on a corner route you want to put x uh you want to go ahead and block x you want to go ahead and block r1 motion over square put square on a street smart route triangle uh so adjustments not too crazy just got to kind of watch your pocket too if you really get uh like good pocket presence uh this isn't an issue for you at all just with you having so many blockers but the blocking can be iffy every now and then but if you feel like you're about to get sad just go ahead and uh throw the ball away moving on boys showing y'all another cover three beater man out of this formation it's going to be the pa bubble wide over uh, just working it out of the standard cover three what you want to go ahead and do is put x on a street put square on a combat route you want to put triangle on a slant and this is going to be the setup now with this play as you watch me run it you kind of want to uh, throw a circle open not really throw him open but you want to lead him uh, more to the left so he can kind of get that rat catch animation so he can take it up field so um, showing y'all the adjustments again just put x on a streak you want to put triangle on a slant you want to put square on a comeback and that is going to be the setup you boy uh for y'all boys and um you just kind of right there so that that's basically when you want to throw it that time they just kind of got it on me so you want to go ahead and put x on the street square comeback triangle slant see if we can actually complete it this time around and as y'all can see it's going to be money um at a very minimal you're usually going to pick up about 20 to 30 yards uh best case scenario you can actually take this for a touchdown uh just depending on the situation and everything like right now that's what i'm saying when i say throw your uh receiver open if you have a fast enough tight end you can take that for a touchdown now uh moving on boys not to spend too much time on that play right there uh, i'm going to be showing y'all how to be covered for for a one play touchdown or for a big game the play is going to be double post and uh what we are going to be using like i said against cover four i'm going to say cover four drop and i'm also going to be showing y'all how to be a cover four quarters uh now what you want to go ahead and do boys you just want to put circle on a uh corner route just like this and you want to streak your x tight end and basically you just want to leave everything else the same uh you just kind of wait uh, this time we're gonna get sat. Oh, we actually didn't get sat, but I'm gonna go ahead and replay that so y'all can really see it. Good thing about cover four drop, you kind of know what's cover four drop because your opponent is only gonna be sending three, so you kind of should know what that looks like once you play against your opponent uh, during the match. So you want to put circle on a corner route, put X on a street, and then like I was saying, kind of pocket presence. Just watch your pocket, and um, triangle is gonna be wide open. Uh, depending on if you can beat this last safety, it can be a touchdown or at a very minimum, it's going to be a uh, big game. So circle on a corner route, X on a street, really simple adjustments, nothing too crazy. Watch your pocket. Uh, that time I did not do a good job at my pocket presence. So I'm trying to get a little bit better with that on this uh, college football game, because if you watch your pocket, you kind of do a lot of good things. And as you can see, we're going to lead it right there right in that window and a lot of the times it's going to be a lot more open than that in uh, most situations so you just kind of wait 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 and then you kind of just lead it right there which i don't really like this right now because usually the window is a little bit bigger uh with this cover four drop when i set it up this way so it just kind of depends on the situation 
Uh, you can also kind of hit your running back out of the backfield too really quick if you don't like that look. But this is kind of one of those home run plays. It works most of the time. Uh, it really works all the time. It's just if you can fit it in that window sometimes. Uh, it's going to be more open than not in uh, most situations. But it just kind of depends on, um, on what that deep corner slash safety kind of does. So I'm going to run this back one more time. Circle on a corner route. X on a street. And we're just going to run it as is. Uh, wait for triangle to kind of clear. And then you kind of just want to throw it like right about there. So it's really all about the timing and really getting the timing down pat. Because if the timing isn't down pat like y'all seen on the previous couple plays that I did, it can throw off the whack of the play where it's in coverage. Or sometimes the uh, the deep safety does play a little bit better. So you may have to throw it earlier. So this is more of a timing play more than not uh, compared to the cover three beaters. But moving on, uh, showing y'all some more stuff, boys. Gonna be showing y'all how to beat cover four quarters. Now this is one of my favorites. So we're gonna be using the double post. Working this against uh, cover four quarters, uh, what you want to go ahead and do, you want to motion over square. Uh, you want to put triangle on a deep crosser. You do that by pressing triangle, triangle, uh, then up on the D-pad for your selected icon. After that, boys, you want to put circle on a corner route. I just love the corner route with the tight end. It just makes everything so effective. But against cover four, it's either going to be square or triangle against this cover four quarters. Most of the time, triangle is going to be running in the middle of the field, just wide open for a touchdown. That time, I just absolutely forced that, just trying to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and run that back. So put circle on a uh, corner route just like that. What you want to go ahead and do is motion over the square receiver, put triangle on a uh, on a crossing route so that's what we're going to go ahead and do really quick uh this is the setup boys nothing too crazy here and then you'll see a lot of times or not it's either going to be square or triangle for the one play touchdown or for a big game you kind of just got to eye it and kind of look at it most of the time it's triangle but square does get open a lot of times against that uh cover four quarters too uh but the beautiful thing about this play too they kind of run in the same as that area for the most part so it's not really hard to really eye it this time as y'all can see triangle is going to be open so it just kind of depends but uh this is basically going to cook cover four quarters for a one play touchdown you either hit square or triangle and just kind of watch your read uh watch who that deep safety follows and it's basically just going to be um uh, easy stuff after that so moving on boys showing y'all how to be a cover six man we're going to be using the same play uh, double post cover six really isn't nothing to it for the most part you're gonna have this one read uh, which is triangle but people don't really run cover six uh, but it's either gonna be triangle or r1 uh, you can hit r1 as soon as he comes out the backfield and it's gonna be an easy first down against cover six every single time but other than that you have this play where you got the one play touchdown for the most part with uh with either uh square or triangle but for the most part, I would say against a cover six, more likely than not, triangle is going to be the guy that gets open for the most part. But as y'all can see, nothing is really getting open. We also, it's not getting, uh, we're basically not getting enough time right now. But like I was saying, R1 basically going to be money against cover six every single time. And a lot of the times, uh, this triangle receiver is, uh, he's going to cook on the play for the most part. And if he isn't getting open, sometimes putting this uh, circle tight end on a uh, little corner route will help too. But right now, they got this cover six locking up, which is which is kind of wild. But most of the time, boys, you just want to do this regular setup. For the most part, just leave it as is, and it will work. Usually, it's just hitting um, triangle across the middle. But I guess the cover six they're using is just pretty good right now i want to run it just a few more times we kind of just testing it together right now but we know for a fact with this play you can get big yards against cover six with this running back and you also worst case scenario you have x you have circle uh those can be your check downs if that deep triangle receiver isn't getting open but i'm telling you guys against a cover six a lot of the times this triangle receiver will actually get open it's just as of right now he's not 
I don't know if this is more of a cover six match at the moment. I'm really trying to figure it out right now, too. Um, but right now, he is uh, getting covered pretty good. So, um, if triangle isn't open for cover six, I would recommend just throwing to the running back or throwing to X or circle. Uh, and you're going to consistently pick up about five to ten yards uh, for the most part. Um, as well, maybe if we set it up this way might be able to make it work a little bit better too so let's try that really quick so um yeah that didn't work as well so just rock out throwing those um to the running back for the most part if you run it to cover six even though people don't really run it too often go ahead and run that i would recommend throwing the r1 x and circle when running against a cover six now showing you guys how to beat man coverage and then we're gonna go into some running plays and um yeah y'all i'm trying to get more in depth with these kind of um these formation for you guys too so y'all can kind of just go to the video get full information i'm going to be doing that the whole year so if you're into that type of stuff make sure to hit a like and subscribe so uh just going over how to beat man coverage i like to just use the smash play uh just working against like cover one man so what you want to go ahead and do you just want to go ahead and put triangle on a drag put square on a slant put x on a street and put circle on a uh slant and basically somebody's gonna get open doesn't really matter who somebody's gonna get open against man coverage whether it's the two slants the drag you just have a lot of options on that play you can see that circle was really gonna get open it's just that he really got caught up uh that time around i forgot that i didn't set it up in man coverage but i, I thought i did but let's run it back one more time just to make sure but you want to go ahead and put triangle on a uh, drag, square on a slant, X on a street, circle on a uh, slant. So somebody's going to get open, boys. I don't know why on that last play it kind of looked like zone coverage, but maybe I was tripping. Uh, but for the most part, this is going to be a man beater, man. It's going to be consistent for you. Uh, triangle, square, X, circle. This is going to be a man beater. That's just going to keep your opponent on their toes for the most part. And you're basically going to be picking up a lot of yards every single time that you go ahead and run this. So, moving on, boys. I want to show y'all some running plays out of this formation as well. Uh, so, the main running play that I want to show y'all in um, today's formation is going to be the inside zone. It's just a very consistent run. Uh, you basically just want to take your time with this play and just read your blocks. A lot of the times you will pick up about like five yards. or uh, So you just kind of got to take your time and read your blocks. But um, I recommend not pressing the turbo immediately. It kind of just helps you kind of find the hole and kind of just uh, do what you need to do. So as you can see, kind of take your time. That's how we're not really getting good blocking. And let's say in a situation where the inside zone isn't working for you that well. I also have um, this other running play that works really good as well that you can go ahead and run. It is actually gonna be uh, the tight end lead uh, read option. So what you wanna go ahead and do, I typically motion over this tight end over to the left, which I know is really weird, but sometimes it just really helps with the blocking. As y'all can see, uh, we got a lot more opportunity uh, with that run play. Also with this play as well, you can run it stock. If you want to go ahead and run it stock, it does work good that way too. But as you can see, we're picking up a little bit more yards uh, with this run play. And you can also run it stock like I was saying, but I typically like the motion the guy in. I feel like it's a little bit more consistent for me, um, but you can kind of pick and choose what you would like to do. Um, but this is one of my more favorite running plays. Uh, it's probably a little bit more consistent than the inside zone. Uh, but the inside zone is always going to be a really good running play that you can mix in with this offense. Further ado, I'm going to be showing y'all some really good plays out of this formation. So uh, the first play that we're actually going to go over is this going to be the jet uh, touch pass. Something that you can just go ahead and mix into your arsenal. As you can see, it's pretty consistent. Uh, you just want to make sure you have your fastest receiver or somebody pretty fast in that slot uh, position. And most of the time... You are going to pick up a first down. It just kind of depends on what your opponent is in. And, um, and it's basically you and that safety. And depending on uh, what your opponent is, it's going to kind of dictate how many yards you get with this play. 
And a lot of the times you'll get a lot of yards for this play just because of the pursuit angles and how college football works. But moving on, showing y'all another thing that y'all can go ahead and mix in out of this formation. It's going to be the zone fake jet. And it's actually a really, really good run play. Um, as y'all can see, you can mix this in after getting your opponent with that a few times. And you can just go ahead and throw, and throw uh, this inside zone in the mix with that. So, as y'all can see, you can pick up some good yards with this play. Um, once you hit your opponent with that jet touch pass, I'm telling y'all, sometimes you can actually break this for touchdowns just because your opponent is looking for that, um, that receiver to get the ball. But moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. Not to stay on this too long. Uh, I'm going to be showing y'all some passing plays as well. Now, with this formation, I would say this is kind of one of the more boom formations where you can get one play touchdowns, but it doesn't have a lot of like regular plays uh, out of this formation. I am going to show y'all one. So if y'all haven't, go check out my previous video with the wing slot and the deuce close. Uh, I have a lot more uh, things that you can run out of those, but this is just to kind of add to what I already showed y'all in my previous video. So make sure to go check those out. But we're going to be at PA go slot cross. Going to be working this against a cover three first. What you want to go ahead and do, boys, you want motion over your square receiver. You want to play him on a street. You want to play X on a, uh, you basically just want to block X. And preferably, I like to keep the play action because as y'all can see, we only have three reads on the field and really just one with triangle. And a lot of times that play action will actually suck the user down just enough. And by the time the user is actually out there, uh, he's already too far out to play. I actually set that up wrong, so we're going to go ahead and run that play, uh, back. Uh, excuse me. So what we're going to do is put circle on a combat route, put square on a street, motion him over, and block your tight end. Uh, really simple adjustments. Nothing too crazy. Really simple play. Um, only a few setups. As you can see, going to be a one-play touchdown. For the most part, every single time, especially if you have a clean pocket, uh, I'll show you guys one more time. Motion over square, put him on a street. Go ahead and block your tight end and put circle on a comeback. And this is going to be a setup, really easy. Just wait for him to kind of clear. If you get that timing right, should be catch and run, and basically a touchdown, depending on the situation and everything. Now moving on, showing y'all how to beat cover four. Going to be basically the same setup, but just a little bit different. PA go slot cross, working in this A against A cover for drop. Now, this formation, like I said, this isn't going to be a formation that you can just run the whole game. Uh, it's going to be a formation where you can sprinkle this stuff in. Because if you run this the whole game, of course, you're going to get stopped. Because these are like kind of your home run plays. But it's nice to just have in your arsenal. Now, what you want to do to beat cover four, you want to put X on a streak. You just want to put square on a drag route. This is going to be a setup. You can set it up like this. I'm also going to show y'all another setup as well. So this is the first setup. I actually don't like the first setup that good. So I'm going to show y'all the second setup. Put X on a street. Put square on a drag route. Put triangle on a inside post just like this. And basically this is going to be the setup. Uh, you got high low read, but you want to be looking for triangle. Triangle, usually he's going to get open every single time for about like 30 to 40 yards to pop on this play working it against a cover four so this is the traditional way i would set it up to be cover four just because it develops a lot faster you have a lot of catch and run ability and uh depending on what you can do with those sticks you can, can get a touchdown with it but it just kind of depends how good you are with your stick work now moving on showing y'all some more stuff out of this formation uh we do have some other plays as well that I'm going to be showing y'all. One thing that I do like out of this formation is going to be the fade smash. This is going to be your cover two beater, boys. If you know that your opponent is in cover two, basically, this is basically going to cook cover two for the most part. So, what you want to go ahead and do is just motion over your X tight end, put him on a street, block your running back. You can put circle on whatever you want to, but I like to put him on like that for a check down. And basically, you're just going to hit triangle. You can catch a uh, rat catch it sometimes. Sometimes you may have to possession catch it, just depending on the situation. Motion X over, uh, put circle on the inside post, lock your running back. Basically, triangle is going to be the read. Just like here, you want to go ahead and possession catch that. Going to be some good yardage every time that you go against a cover two. 
Um, moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. We also do have this high back uh, slip screen, which I really like. It's a, a really nice play that you can go ahead and run, honestly. Um, man zone doesn't work. Pretty, pretty consistent. While learned with screen plays too, though, you kind of got to give yourself a little bit more distance by running back a little bit. As you can see that time, you can see I had to run back a little bit more. Uh, but with the slip screen, it throws a lot of people off, catches a lot of people off guard. Just get yourself some time. As y'all can see, most of the time, you can at least pick up a first down with the screen play. And I'm going to go ahead and just show it to you one more time just so y'all can see that. It's, it's pretty consistent. It's just sometimes the running back does get caught up on the guard for some reason, which is kind of weird. But when he doesn't, it's going to be good yardage. I want to do this if you need like a fourth and short, third and short, and you need to be like, I need this play for sure. Because as y'all can see, they made the screen play not connect for some reason. But for the most part, if he catches it, you are going to pick up some good yards most of the time at a bare minimum of the first down. Um, moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. Uh, we do have this play, the FL spot that I'm going to be showing y'all. And this is one of my uh, more favorite plays that I like to run. This is going to work against a cover three and a cover two. It will not work against a cover four. And it will not really work against man coverage. So what you want to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and reset it. You want to put circle on a street. You want to put triangle on a drag and block your running back. The read on the play is going to be the X tight end. You just kind of want to wait for him to clear. And then you'll be able to possession catch it basically every single time against a cover three or a cover two also with this play you do have your check down you can wait till he gets about right there and a lot of times you can pick up a first down or more on that play they made me get whacked i ain't gonna lie that jump was pretty treacherous but as y'all can see this play very consistent for the most part you squeeze in between that safety and that corner and it's gonna be at least about 15 to 20 yards a pop out of the normal wide off out of the gun boys first thing i'm going to be showing y'all how to beat is going to be cover three so we're going to go ahead and do that first but um i'm gonna go ahead and just show y'all the stuff that y'all can run out of here i'm gonna show y'all the jet pass really quick that you can go ahead and run it's a pretty consistent jet touch pass uh it's pretty decent for the most part uh and you can kind of kind of maneuver how you want to uh, most of the time when running this you do have a, uh, a run play also that you can mix in with this jet touch pass I don't want to spend too much time on it uh, you have the zone fake jet but I don't really like it because it doesn't really work that good so if you are looking to run the ball I would just say come out and inside zone and just run this inside zone because it's a pretty decent inside zone for the most part uh, and it works better than the run play out of the fake jet sweep but moving on, I'm going to be showing y'all some of the uh, passing plays out of this formation. And when I say they are some very powerful passing plays out of the normal wide off, they are pretty powerful. So we're going to be working out the cover three first. What you want to go ahead and do, boys, you want to go ahead and motion your triangle receiver over. After that, you just want to put X on a streak and you want to put square on a comeback route. Now, basically, triangle is going to be the read on the play. And a lot of times, if you're able to uh, actually threw that way too early, uh, but a lot of times you can lead him into scoring a touchdown the majority of the time. And the reason I actually threw that so early, I thought I was going to get sacked because practice mode, they do get in pretty quick. Uh, so it is a lot different. A lot of times you will have a little bit more time uh, compared to people. But once I get this off, y'all will really see how this play really uh, gets open and it just develops so nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and run it one more time. Hopefully we can go ahead and get the ball off this time around. I'm gonna just go ahead and lead it. As y'all can see, that time we didn't get an accurate pass. But if we go to the instant replay, y'all can kind of see what I'm saying. Uh, once he clears this guy right here, this safety is taken away by the tight end that's running on that street. And this combat route is occupying this cornerback just long enough so we can have enough space in between right here to basically just score a one play touchdown. It's really just the matter of having enough time. And I'm telling you guys, most of the time you will have enough time, especially if you have a real fast guy in that triangle spot. So right here, this is right when we want to throw it right here. 
rat catch it and as y'all can see you have somebody fast enough it's going to be a one play touchdown now moving on showing y'all some more things out of this formation this might be one of my favorite formations out of georgia book i didn't think it would be because when i first looked at it it just didn't look that great if i'm being honest but we're gonna go back to the pa deep so as y'all can see on the left hand side it looks like a streak and if y'all paid attention on the last play too y'all can see that it wasn't a streak so working this against a cover two i want to show you how this just destroys a cover two all you want to do is go ahead and just put circle on a street that's all you want to do boys i'm going to show y'all so you have triangle that you can go ahead and just rat catch it that's how we can't get an accurate pass unfortunately but like i said just put circle on a street really simple setup watch triangle oh my goodness bro they can just I'm gonna try to wait a little bit longer because for some reason they just won't let me connect. So I'm gonna try to wait a little bit longer right here. You can rat catch it and take it upfield. And a lot of times this has a lot of potential to go for a touchdown, but that is not what I'm gonna be showing y'all boys. That is not the biggest read on this play. This is like a home right hitter play. You see your opponent in cover two. This is what you wanna do. As long as you get enough time, wait for square to kind of clear. That's how we get sacked. But if y'all pay attention, Square is going to be running wide open in the middle of the field. Uh, it's just whether or not you can get it to him. And I'm telling y'all, most of the time, you will be able to get it to him unless your opponent is just blitzing you. Uh, but for the most part, this play is going to be money. Just wait for him to kind of clear. And that's how we still can't get the ball off, unfortunately. Now, with these big, big home run plays, sometimes it's just going to be like that because they do take a little bit longer to develop, as y'all can see. But once we actually get it off, it does go for a touchdown, as y'all can see. Or it goes for a big game. Um, but that's kind of what you expect with big point uh, run hitter plays. Uh, you are going to sometimes get sacked. That just kind of comes with it. But as y'all can see, if you feel like you can't get it off to him, you can always just throw the triangle. And triangle will have a lot of potential to go ahead and score a touchdown. For some reason, I don't know why Why uh, at the moment we can't get an accurate pass. Uh, that's really the biggest issue right now. But I don't want to spend too much time on this. I'm going to go ahead and run it one more time for you guys so y'all can see kind of when to hit triangle. As y'all can see, for some reason, we just can't connect at the moment. But y'all can see the potential with this play and how it works. Also, I want to show y'all how to beat cover four for a one-play touchdown out of this formation. Uh, it is going to be uh, this play right here. I'm trying to find it for y'all real quick. And it is a very, very nice play. It's going to be the PA Jet Sweep. Uh, this is going to be cover for a uh, drop, basically for a one-play touchdown. You do want to make sure you have somebody fast in that square spot. You just want to go ahead and hide the ball. You kind of just want to wait for your square receiver to get past that first safety and just lead it across the field. And as y'all can see, it's going to be a one-play touchdown. Pretty easy. Like I said, you just want to wait for your receiver to get past that uh, deep safety on the left-hand side because that right-hand safety is going to stay down because of that inside post. And as y'all can see, it's going to be money every single time against a cover four. Really easy. Nothing too crazy. Pretty simple setup. And um, you'll be able to just do it. All you got to do is just hike it. There's no setups needed for this play. Uh, that's a very simple concept to go ahead and beat cover four. Now, moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. Uh, you also do have a uh, pretty good halfback slip screen uh, that you can go ahead and just mix in just because uh, screens are effective. It's just throwing your opponent off guard, kind of kind of just um, making something shape with them. A lot of times, you will pick up a first down with a little simple screen play like this. Especially if your opponent isn't paying attention, just because uh, screen play is just set up, um, set up blocking. You got three blockers. Most of the time, you're gonna get at least ten yards. Uh, most of the time, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run this one more time for you guys, and then we're gonna get to some other things. And if you got some state work, you can really go crazy with screen play. It just kind of depends how you maneuver and everything like that. Now, I'm um, moving on, showing y'all um, one more thing out of this formation. Um, beating man coverage because I haven't in the uh, previous videos really went too crazy on showing y'all how to beat man coverage. Um, 
really man coverage you only need a couple slants and one drag route and uh, most of the time you're gonna beat man coverage for the most part um, there's nothing really too crazy even a zig route something as simple as a little zig route like this can um, destroy man coverage but I'm gonna be showing y'all setup that's just gonna beat man coverage all you want to do is just motion over your triangle receiver uh, after that, you want to put X on a street, you want to put circle on a drag, and you want to go ahead and put square on a slant. And um, out of all of these reads, somebody's going to get open. A lot of times, triangle will just kill his guy. Uh, I really like that route when it comes to man coverage because it's just the perfect combination of how deep he goes out. And his cut is very, very fast uh, when it comes to this route. So it's very effective. But um, as y'all can see, most of the time, somebody's going to get open. As you can see, triangle was open there. I don't know why that cover one looked like a zone. That that was I, I've been noticing that with practice mode. I don't know if it's like a glitch or something. I don't know when you go to random cover one and stuff like that, and it just start glitching out or something. But sometimes I swear, like I be going to cover one and it it just doesn't be cover one as y'all can see. But that triangle route is basically going to kill. And we go to the instant replay too. Go ahead and show y'all boys that too. You can see. We probably could have hit this slant too. This slant is open. You just want to lead down. A lot of times you're going to pick up some yards. This drag route wasn't open in this situation, but there are situations where he's going to be running wide open. Uh, right now, this corner is basically just running his route. So uh, that that boy, he, yeah, he had them a lot. But first things first, I'm going to go over how to beat cover two. It's going to be the MTN PA fade screen. Uh, this play, relatively simple. Um, you just run it as is. You don't have to do anything crazy with this play. That is why I like it so much. So we let it run. Lead X towards the sideline. Rat catch it. Depending on who you have there, you can potentially score a touchdown. But at the very minimum, he's going to be picking up about 40 yards with this play against a cover two. As y'all can see, worst case scenario though, y'all can see square. Square was sitting wide open for a check down if your opponent turns out to be in like cover three or something like that. Uh, you can always hit that square receiver. He's going to be open for the most part against every coverage except for man coverage for the most part. And as y'all can see, at a very minimal, that's about like five yards. So um, it's better to take your yards than to take a loss. But um, moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. We do have this uh, RPO alert screen. Now, this RPO alert screen is going to work against cover three and cover four. Uh, doesn't matter if it's cover four quarters or uh, whatever. It's going to work against cover uh, three and cover four. It will not work against man coverage and it will not work against cover two. But against a cover three and a cover four, you will see how effective it actually is. So we're going to go ahead and run it. And a lot of times you will at least pick up a first down with this play. Um, in previous plays too and, um, and matches I played, I actually took this play for a touchdown. But as y'all can see, I'm going to go ahead and hike it. And for some reason, the tight end just blocks really, really good on this play. And it just allowed you, like I said, at a very minimal, to go ahead and pick up a first down. So I'm going to go ahead and run this one more time. As y'all can see, pretty consistent. If you got a little bit of stick, you can possibly turn that into a touchdown. Because it's usually only like one person over there. Uh, so if you can get past that person and that deep safety a lot of times you will get a touchdown where it will turn into a big play but moving on showing y'all some more things out of this formation we also do have the hat back cross screen this is just going to confuse your opponent a little bit as y'all can see that tight end has been motioning in every play that we've been using um so as you can see they might think you're about to hit them with that screen and you are about to hit them with that screen but it's going to be to the opposite direction and of course that time they won't let me get it off but Y'all will see that this screen play is really effective as well. Just gonna go ahead and kind of lob that. And then just take your blocking. And a lot of times, you'll pick up a first down or even break it for a touchdown. A lot of these plays that I'm showing y'all right now, they pick you up a first down usually at the minimum, but they will score you touchdowns depending on what you can do with the ball um, after, after you uh, get it to your playmakers and stuff like that. So as y'all can see, Run it one more time for y'all, just so y'all can kind of see. We get some good blocking. We can actually kind of take this up field. And as y'all can see, it's pretty consistent as well. So moving on, boys, showing y'all some more things. We do have some uh, other plays. The inside zone, that's a very effective play. Y'all know how inside zones work. They, they're pretty consistent. 
uh, for the most part, they're good to mix in. Now, what I want to show y'all out of this formation is going to be the speed option. I'm going to be showing y'all a few ways to actually set this up. So, I'm going to go ahead and run it stop. And y'all will notice when I run it stop, it doesn't work like that. So, as you can see, it does work, but it's not as effective. Um, it's not buried in a way I'm going to show you guys. So, to me, it's better to actually motion this guy over. But I'm going to re... Uh, I'm actually going to restart the play because I messed it up. But the first thing that you actually want to do with this play, I like to flip it. But you can run it to that left hand side. Don't get it uh, misconstrued. But let's go ahead and run it this way real quick so I can kind of show you guys. I kind of like to run it this way a little bit better. As you can see, kind of just let the running back do his thing. As you can see, he kind of gets behind everybody. And every single time, for the most part, you're going to pick up a first down. And it's pretty consistent. Um, and that's why I like it. Consistency is key, especially when you're in a game. As you can see, we're just going to get to the outside. As soon as they get close, go ahead and kind of just pitch it out to them. Now, we're going to do the same thing to the opposite side. We're going to um, actually run it like how we've been doing, but we're going to motion the guy over just like that. And I feel like it makes this side work a lot better too. As you can see, it's just going to open a lot more space for this running back. You can see that we take a player over to that side as well every time that we motion this receiver, which it doesn't hurt us when we flip it just because we're getting an extra blocker anyway. But you can kind of see how this is going to work. Uh, kind of just wait it out, pitch it. And you can see that that DN is kind of delayed as well. And that's a pretty consistent um, uh, pitch play, honestly. So that's another thing you can go ahead, mix into this uh, playbook, into your arsenal. Um, another thing that I want to go over is going to be the wide receiver under. Uh, this right here, this isn't a big play, but this is going to work against every zone coverage in the game, boys. Doesn't matter, cover three, cover two, cover four. It's going to be open for about five to ten yards. So what you want to go ahead and do, you want to motion over your square receiver. You want to put circle on a streak. I like to put X on a drag and put uh, triangle on a slant. Uh, just kind of for check downs. But against every zone in the game, square is going to get open for a minimum of five yards every single play. And a lot of times you will get that rat catch animation and you will pick up a first down just about every single time against a uh, zone coverage. Now, when it comes to man coverage, it does work. It just doesn't work as good. But as y'all can see, we're consistently picking up yards with this play. But like I said, you will catch it against man coverage. It's not like a risky throw. If uh, your opponent turns out to be in man coverage, it's just that you're not going to pick up yards. Uh, really, you're just going to pick up about five at the very minimum. But as y'all can see, uh, this is a pretty consistent play and route. So um, moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation as well real quick. That play is uh, money right there. Uh, we do have the hat bat slip screen, and now I'm going to be showing y'all how to beat man coverage as well. So I'm just going to go over this slip screen real quick, let y'all kind of see that. As you can see, all the screens we go over, they're pretty solid. Uh, screens are screens. They work pretty consistent. You just got to kind of catch your opponent off guard. So run it one more time for y'all. Slip screen. Get your blocking. Go ahead, take it upfield. And then boom. So moving on, showing y'all how to beat man coverage. This is kind of one of my favorite man beaters out of this formation. Uh, it is going to be this pivot and seams. Uh, we are just going to be working this against like a cover two man so y'all can kind of see what's really going on. So what we're going to go ahead and do with this play, boys, you just want to put triangle on a zig route. You do that by pressing triangle twice and pressing left on your D-pad. You want to put a square on a street. Pretty simple, but very effective against man coverage. Y'all will see circle will cook a lot of the times. That time it actually got picked. That is like the first time I've seen it get covered that good, like ever. So we're going to go ahead and run that one more time real quick so y'all can kind of see how it usually works. A lot of times he will get a lot more separation, but that corner is just, he's just doing his thing right now. So let's see. Maybe it's because it's press. I'm going to just want to run it. Yeah, it's just because that corner has the ability. That boy is absolutely locking up. So we're going to go ahead and run it against another. Uh, maybe a cover one hole might be a little bit better for us this time around. But, boy, that boy was absolutely locking that receiver up, bro. All right, so we're going to run it. Hopefully, he doesn't lock him up as much. Maybe it was because he was kind of pressed up on him. 
But um, like I was saying, just put triangle on a zig route, and you want to put square on the street and block your running back. Basically, that's it. And then you'll see a lot of times the circle receiver is just going to cook. And a lot of times you will be able to rat catch it like this and just kind of just take it upfield uh, when it comes to man coverage. And let's say we're in a situation where we've seen the cornerback was all over that last uh, play and he picked us and he basically picked us twice. This, in that situation, we would just throw the triangle. The triangle is going to cook exactly the same way and just take it upfield and usually pick up a first down or even depending on if your opponent is blitzing a, a simple play like this can actually go for a touchdown just depending on what your opponent is doing but boy that corner right there though on this team that boy is solid ain't gonna lie i don't know who that is i don't really keep a chat with college but that boy is like absolutely kind of locking up so i'm gonna just go ahead and throw that triangle but y'all can see y'all got two options two really good options um, if you ever feel like you want to throw an extra option in there, you can always just put triangle on a slant, or, uh, or you can put square on a slant and lead triangle on a zig. It's just a lot of different things you can do against man coverage. And as y'all can see, this is going to cook too. Man coverage isn't too crazy to be. Slants and zig routes, I would say that's the key. But go ahead and do. I'm going to show y'all in today's video. Just show y'all this cover two beater. Really simple. I want to show y'all this one first because you don't have to do any setups. Um, this is the play right here. All you want to do is just go ahead and hike it. As you can see, the tight end will do his thing. Uh, then the tight end will run past this corner. And basically, you just rack catch it. And if you have a pretty decent tight end, a lot of the times it's going to be a one play touchdown. Uh, so, as y'all can see, no setup needed. Cover two. Kind of just wait for him to get past that corner. As you can see, Worst case scenario, you can always possession catch it as well. So moving on, we're not going to spend too much time on that play because as y'all can see, it's money. Doesn't take too long. Not too complicated or any of that stuff. So moving on, we're going to go into our cover three beater. We're going to be using the exit PA wheel shot. Uh, just working this against a standard cover three boy. So what you want to go ahead and do with this play is put the tight end on the street. You want to put triangle on a slant. And you want to put square on a comeback route. So the slant is basically going to occupy the user. And uh, it's just going to free up circle to have a one play touchdown against cover three. It's just a matter of having enough time for the play. And as y'all can see, if we have enough time uh, to get it off, it is going to be a one play touchdown. Very simple setup. Nothing too crazy, boys. Uh, so go over it one more time with y'all real quick. Put triangle on a uh, slant. You want to go ahead and put X on a streak. Put square on the combat route. I like leaving the play action because it just draws the user in a little bit more. And I feel like sometimes play action will give you a little bit more time as long as your opponent isn't blitzing. That time we get absolutely demolished. He even, boy, he even still over us, bro. That, that was crazy. So we're going to go ahead and run that back. Hopefully I can get it off this time around and show you guys. But same setup. Nothing too crazy. Wait for circle to clear. That time we didn't get an accurate pass. So just try to show y'all one more time. Hopefully we can do it on about this fourth try. Get a little steady pocket. As y'all can see, boom, every single time money. It is a little bit of a timing thing sometimes. So if y'all want to take it into practice mode and just get the timing right, um, it isn't hard at all. You just want to kind of lead it towards the uh, left-hand side, towards the inside. And basically, it's going to be money every single time. Now, showing y'all some more things out of this formation, uh, we do have some uh, other fire plays, man. So, the first thing I'm going to show y'all, man, it's going to be this RPO read snag. Uh, so, first off, it's a very good run play. Um, very, very consistent. You do not want to hold the uh, acceleration button or the speed uh, button, your R2 trigger. You don't want to use that at all until the play actually completely develops. Y'all will kind of see. Uh, you can consistently pick up about like five yards and even break this run for a touchdown, depending on what your opponent is actually in. So we're going to go ahead and run this. As y'all can see, consistently picking up yards. Not going to spend too much time on that, as y'all can see. But the thing that makes this play so, so good, watch what happens when we go against man coverage. As y'all can see, RPO, read snap, working it against a cover one. It does work against a cover two as well, but you really want to be using this against a cover one or if your opponent is blitzing, basically going to annihilate them. 
even a cover two is gonna just uh, destroy cover two, but it just won't be as big of a game. So we're just gonna let the play develop, and the person we want to throw to is gonna be Triangle. And as you can see, there's nobody running with Triangle. And if it's just one guy, bro, this college football, bro, just jump him out, bro. Hit him with a spin move, and it's gonna be a touch now. But as y'all can see, bro, on this play against cover, uh, basically man coverage, bro. Nobody's gonna cover this man. Nobody's gonna cover this man. And as y'all can see, the angle that happens, you can basically just do what you want to do. And if you see that your opponent is trying you with a man blitz, or if your opponent is just trying you to cover one hole, bro, this is the play that you want to go to. The only way that your opponent is gonna stop this if he manually, uh, manual, basically takes his user over there and uh, takes that person out to play. Um, and y'all can see that there is nobody covering him whatsoever. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to it just so y'all can see how it uh, works against cover two. It's the same as that effect, but the safety is there, so it is gonna be a little bit tougher uh, for you to take it for a touchdown. But depending on if you time it right, as y'all can see, it's gonna be a one play touchdown against cover two as well. So moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation, man. As y'all can see, that play is pretty crazy if I'm being honest with y'all. Uh, we do have this PA cross switch. I really do like this play. This is gonna work against cover three and cover four drop. This isn't gonna work against quarters or, uh, and this isn't gonna work against a cover two. So cover three and cover four is gonna be a main objective and also cover one is gonna be cover one and cover two. So we go against a cover three. What you wanna go ahead and do, you wanna motion over your R1 receiver Put X on a drag route, and I like to put circle on a M route just to have two check downs. On this play, I like to lead the play action, uh, just to kind of suck the user down a little bit. As you can see, R1 is going to be the read. Every single time, he's going to be open against a cover three and a cover four and man coverage. As long as the opponent doesn't set his zone drops too far back, and in that mid range, that's that's about probably about 15 or 20 yards so your opponent will have to hit down the head and if he does hit it on the head you do have your check downs coming across the middle and these check downs are very effective too a lot of times you will uh pick up a first down with these check downs or at least about like five yards so we go ahead and run it i really do like the circle check down because he just gets behind everything and then you can go ahead and possession and catch it and that's basically a first down uh, so moving on boys as y'all can see pretty solid play uh, It's pretty consistent too. That's what I like about it. Nothing too crazy And it's just gonna allow you to move the ball very consistently uh, Just getting a little bit of time right here as y'all can see uh, Depending on what you can do with your stick it can become a touchdown. So moving on Showing y'all some more things out of this formation. We do have uh, the RPO alert out. This is gonna be the same case. Uh, it's gonna work against cover three and cover four drop. Uh, it will work against man coverage, but it's not as effective against man coverage. But typically, I really do just like running the ball out of this formation too uh, with this RPO. Just like I said, don't hold the boost. And a lot of times you will see, I mix this RPO inside zone and that other RPO that I showed you guys and it just consistently picks up yards. What you wanna do, you don't wanna hold that boost button, boys. I don't know how much I wanna stress that. If you hold the boost button, you're not gonna pick up any yards. It's just how it just develops your O-line. You won't get a chance to block or anything like that. And as y'all can see, it's pretty consistent. But not only that, the reason I like this play, you can always just throw the triangle. This is gonna beat cover three, cover four, if your opponent is trying to stop the run. Uh, and basically it's just gonna consistently work too but then if he's not open i mean just go ahead and just keep uh leave it to the running back and hand it off so pretty simple play very effective play nothing too crazy there um also you do have this rpo read flat i like running this on a fourth and short or if i'm in the red zone uh, even if somebody playing like cover two hard flats, this is gonna pick you up like one to two yards So don't be looking for this to be a big home run play This is gonna be that play that picks you up about like one to two yards, man So if you're in like a fourth and short uh, If you need to get into the red zone and you like first and goal on the one This is probably gonna be a play that you want to go ahead and call as y'all can see It's gonna consistently pick you up uh, a decent amount of yards nothing crazy, but it's a very consistent play and another thing too, this play is actually going to cook man coverage as well. Same as that way, uh, we go to cover one hole. 
Uh, it's just with a tight end instead. Y'all will see. Basically, a tight end is by itself. I just like running the other play because it has a receiver right there. And receivers are faster. And y'all get the drift, man. I don't really got to go into detail, man. We got common sense, chat. We got we got common sense, y'all. So, I ain't going to go too deep into that. But, y'all can see how that consistently works as well. And then, I have a uh, this all go. I like working this uh, against all zone coverages, basically. Uh, cover three, cover two. Um, even, um, yeah, cover three, cover two, it works very good. It isn't really a man beating type play. And it isn't really a uh, cover four quarters type beater play. But it is a consistent play that y'all can go ahead and mix. And I'm just going to show y'all all go. We're going to take against a cover three. Now, what I like to do, I like to put a uh, triangle on a triple option. You do that by pressing triangle twice and pressing uh, down on your right stick. As y'all can see, uh, the running back is going to be an awesome check down. But when it comes to cover three, you want to be looking for this tight end. Uh, he's basically going to be the person that's going to be your main read when it comes to cover three. And um, if we go to the instant replay, which I'm not, I'm just going to show y'all that the running back does get open. But as y'all can see, the running back is a really good check down. Um, if the user does decide to follow uh, that tight end all the way across the field now, also you do have uh, the same effect with cover two but cover two I feel like it's worse if we go ahead go against a like cover two y'all will see uh, basically you can choose between R1 or circle for the most part R1 as y'all can see one play touchdown as long as you have somebody fast enough and uh, then the same thing with circle Kind of just wait for him to get past that corner. As y'all can see, it's going to be money to either one of those receivers when it comes to cover two. And uh, like I said, I just like having the running back on this little option thing because he just chooses the right thing every time. And as y'all can see, that's basically a free first down every single time. My opponent doesn't want to respect that. So um, moving on to uh, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. Uh, we do have a halfback cross screen, uh, which is a pretty decent screenplay nothing too crazy but as y'all know screenplays can be effective as you can see we picking up about 20 yards on that play right there so um moving on i don't want to spend too much time on that boys i'm gonna show y'all one more thing out of this formation uh it is gonna be the pa flood just working this against um you can work this against zone cover three cover four it doesn't really matter uh you basically just want to read the play so this basically is just a z spot you just want to put circle on the street. You want to put square on an inside uh, kind of post. And you want to re-block the running back because you don't want the play action. You want this play to kind of develop where you can go ahead and make a quick read. As y'all can see, tight end gets open. It doesn't seem like much, but this can be a little simple play that can be highly effective when playing your opponent. Uh, then you can also hit that R1 receiver depending on what your opponent is doing and what he's doing with his curls or flat routes. I'm going to be showing y'all some plays out of this formation that are very effective. First one that I'm going to go ahead and show y'all is going to be this half-hat slip screen. Very simple, very easy play to run. It's a screen pass, so really nothing too crazy. Not going to spend too much time on this play, but it is a very consistent screen pass that you can go ahead and kind of utilize and pick up a lot of yards with. So um, y'all can go ahead and mix that in with this game and just kind of keep the ball moving. So moving on, we also do have a cover two beater. Um, it is the motion PA will. It is going to be very consistent against a cover two. Um, so with this play, initially it is going to look covered, but every single time you're going to be able to throw this pass. Basically, as soon as that, uh, that receiver cuts on that inside post, basically that's when you want to go ahead and throw this pass. So it's basically kind of like a timing thing. You just got to get down pat. But every single time against a cover two, it's going to be money. Just go ahead and possession catch that. Y'all can see, really simple, nothing crazy. You don't have to do any adjustments. So the first two plays I'm showing y'all, nothing too crazy. So moving on, we do have the motion RPO read wide flat. This is a very effective play. Basically, this is going to work against every coverage in the game. The only thing that's going to kind of limit you with yards is going to be when people play hard flats whether it's cover two or cover three. And um, that's basically the only time you're gonna have an issue with this play. And even then, there's no risk of going to pick up anything. It's just that you're not gonna pick, like, pick up that many yards. But even when people do that, I would say at a very minimum, you're gonna pick up about five yards. 
So you just want to let this play play out and then go ahead and throw the R1 as soon as you can. As you can see, he's going to pick up about 10 to 15 yards every single time that you go ahead and run this play. Um, very consistent, very easy play to run. Uh, nothing too crazy, as y'all can see. Every single time you run this, basically, it's going to be a first down. Um, moving on, so I'm not spending too much time on this. We are going to get into another play. So the next play that I'm going to be showing y'all is going to be the Z dig. This is going to be cover three. Um, it can beat cover four, but it's not as consistent against cover four. So just letting y'all know that. So all you want to do with this play is just put X sign a streak. And that's literally all you want to do. Just have a little bit of time in the pocket. And as you can see, I don't know how we didn't get that one off. I thought I stood in the pocket strong, but I guess I didn't. So we're going to go ahead and run it back. All you got to do is just put X on the street, boys. Nothing too complicated here. Go ahead. Get a little bit of room in the pocket. As y'all can see, it's going to be a one play touchdown. Now, typically y'all seen my previous videos and you probably seen other people's videos as well where you traditionally have to put square on a comeback route. But with this play, if you put square on a comeback route, the play will not work. And if you mess with circle route, the play will not work. So go ahead and lead these routes. If you feel like you need a chat down, go ahead and put triangle on a option route or whatever you deem you would like to run with the running back. Uh, but I kind of recommend running this play when you know that your opponent is in cover three and you can kind of just get that one play touchdown against him while you're kind of just moving the ball and kind of just mix this play in there with everything else that I'm going to be showing y'all in today's video. So, moving on to boys, um, showing y'all that it does work against a cover four, but it's not as consistent as I would like. Um, it's more of a timing thing, and usually the receiver it, it's really it's not as consistent, but I'll show you guys too, just so y'all can kind of see, but... Anytime I show you guys things, I like it to be consistent. As y'all can see, it's not really that consistent. So I really recommend just only running this against a cover three for the most part. But you can make this work with cover four. You want to throw it right there in that window, kind of right towards the hash mark. But moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. Uh, we are going to be running the PA did sell. So, very consistent play one of my favorite plays out of this formation very simple very easy all you gotta do is just put x on a flat route you just want to put square on a in route and block your running back it's a high low read but with this play the beautiful thing is usually both routes are open almost every single time and if your opponent uh commits to one the other one is going to be wide open for the majority uh of the time so go ahead and look you would say this flat route it isn't nothing too crazy but y'all can see that we're basically picking up a first down every time that we run this and it's a very easy play to run and then on top of this you have the r1 receiver that's going to be wide open every single time so nothing too crazy um you can put circle on a street or you can leave it i like putting them on the street uh, put x on the flat put square on and route as y'all can see very consistent play nothing too crazy that's how he kind of got hung up but y'all can see that's going to be money you just kind of got to lead it upfield a little bit and it's going to be money every single time moving on not to spend too much time on that play that is just one of those plays you can mix in against any coverage not the best against man but any zone coverage just a high low read it's just going to help you maneuver and um kind of just get your yards and get easy yards now Moving on, we got a PAY will. This is gonna be cover two. This is gonna be cover three, and this is gonna be cover four. We do have a cover two abbreviation because the cover three and cover four abbreviation does not work the same. So I'm gonna be showing you that uh, y'all that uh, right now. So PAY will uh, working there against a cover three sky. All you wanna go ahead and do, boys, you wanna put square on a street. You wanna go ahead and motion out your running back and put him on a M route. Now this is the setup. The first read is going to be X. As y'all can see, X is going to be open. You can go ahead and possession catch that. We get an overthrow on that, but y'all can see that the uh, X tight end was wide open. And basically, um, with this route, you're basically going to pick up about 15 to 20 yards every single time uh, that you go ahead and run this play. And it's very consistent. It's going to work against cover three and cover four, just like this every single time, uh, consistently. That time I just messed up the play, so we're gonna go ahead and motion him back. So that's all you want to do. Nothing crazy. 
if we can hopefully readjust them. Well, it won't let me, so we're just gonna reset real quick. But just make square do a street, put your running back on the street first, and then just put them on an in route like this. And basically, X is gonna cook every single time. Just go ahead and possession catch it. But that's not the only route that we have on this play, and there's a reason in that we're motion out the running back. So, what you want to go ahead and do is just play him how we've been doing. Basically, the running back is bringing all these linebackers in, and that square route is taking the cornerback and the safety out of the play. And y'all will see if we just have a little bit of time on this play, um, we can see that this crossing route is going to be wide open. And um, it just depends on if the user takes it away. But either way, you have X, he's going to be open every single time. But I just like having that crossing route because even if your user, uh, your opponent user is kind of paying attention, a lot of times they will go with that running back first just because. And as y'all can see, this crossing route is no joke, man. It's going to pick you up a lot of yards. Uh, depending on the situation, too, you can actually take it for a touchdown. So, um, going ahead and showing y'all how it works against a cover four, going to the same as that play real quick. Uh, P A Y will just working it against a. Uh, a cover two I meant so y'all excuse me um, same setup but the only thing that you want to go ahead and do you want to put triangle on a out route um, and I typically like to make triangle go a little bit deeper so I do a custom stem I'll make him go out just a little bit further and y'all kind of see if you wait have a little bit more time y'all can see how wide open uh, the receiver actually gets and um, usually that flat or that curl in the cover two uh, he will come down and y'all will see that basically R1 will be running wide open You just need a little bit of time and as you can see he's gonna run towards the, uh, the running back after that You have a ton of space to work with going up against a cover two um, So with this play you do have to pay attention what your opponent is, uh, is basically playing on defense if you're trying to hit that crossing route But for the most part X is gonna be every zone coverage in the game uh, for the most part so moving on, showing y'all some more things, man. We do have uh, this RPO play that I really like. It's going to be the RPO alert slant. It's a very consistent run play that I like to run. Uh, so the blocking it works out pretty well. Just kind of don't hold the boost button. And y'all can see that the blocking sets up pretty nice. Most of the time, you're going to be picking up about five yards every single time at a very minimum, as y'all can see. And for some reason, they just block really good on the play. So, this is another uh, thing that you can go ahead and mix in your arsenal. As y'all can see, the, the blocking is just tremendous on the play for the most part. Um, showing y'all some more things out of this playbook. I know y'all been asking me to find stuff for uh, quarters and palms. So, the one thing I did uh, kind of figure out, y'all excuse that sound that y'all heard, but um, one thing I did figure out when I'm um, trying to beat cover four palms and quarters. Uh, it was the PA will so we'll come out in that uh, when it comes to quarters There isn't a one play touchdown against it that I could figure out but there was a consistent way I just put square on a streak and I'll go ahead and put uh, R1 on a post and Most of the time with this play you'll see that R1 kind of get open like right in this window and you can possession catch it and um, you're consistently gonna pick up about like 15 uh, to 20 yards depending on the situation and if you can actually rat catch it. Now, when it comes to cover four palms, I'm gonna be showing y'all something really crazy, bro. So, y'all stay tuned, man. If y'all made it this far, make sure you hit a like. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, man, type alert, man, so I know that y'all made it this far in the video. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show y'all how to beat cover four palms uh, for basically a big play. So, PA will, uh, palms, uh, what you want to go ahead and do you just want to put R1 on a streak um, I put square on a streak really you can block the running back and really you just bomb it to R1 If you have somebody really fast a lot of times you just be able to bomb it to R1 Or typically you can even run the play stop really it, it probably works better stop if I'm being honest with you guys um, Just run it stop and then just lob it and as y'all can see he's wide open really easy play no uh, setups required. Somebody comes out and uh, cover four palms, go for that bomb. Bars, you feel me? So really simple, nothing crazy. If you really want to get it out to him, you can bullet it to him. Uh, but typically, I like seeing how the play develops, so I like to lob it a little bit more. But 
y'all can see basically one play touchdown really easy money uh you ever see your opponent or not you know he's cooked uh so basically that is gonna be the gist of this formation the last thing i'm gonna be showing y'all is the all in um play this is gonna be man coverage so all you want to do is just put square on a slant and put a circle on a street uh basically all the routes that you see coming across the middle of the field should get open for the majority uh majority of the time as y'all can see the tight end is open uh we have the slant open uh, basically, like I said, everything uh, that comes across the middle of the field should be open for the most part. Y'all can see R1 is wide open. They just take it upfield and just pick up yards. And most of the time, that slant is going to cook as well. The way that we really are going to be abusing in this formation is going to be the PA zone shot. Uh, this is a very, very effective uh, pass play that's going to be every coverage in the game basically for a one-play touchdown for the most part. There are different abbreviations for it, so I'm going to be showing y'all that in today's video. So PA zone shot. First, I'm going to be showing y'all the cover three beater version. Uh, all you want to do is just put X on a street. You want to put circle on a in route and put square on a comeback route. Really simple. Nothing too complicated. It's just having enough time to go ahead and get this pass off. As y'all can see, it's going to be a one play touchdown. So that's the cover three version of it. Really simple. I'll show y'all uh, one more time how it works. Put X on a street, put circle on a in route, put square on a comeback route. Let the play action just run. I kind of like kind of rotate into the uh, to the left a little bit because it gives me a little bit more time. But as y'all can see, it's going to be consistent. Now moving on, showing y'all how to beat cover two. Very very simple. Uh, same as that way. Uh, you don't even have to do any extra uh, things to this play. We're just gonna go to a regular cover two. All you wanna do is just put X on a streak. Um, so with this play, you can hit R1 up the middle, just like that. And it's basically gonna be a one play touchdown as long as you have somebody with decent speed. And then on top of that, you still have this circle receiver um, on the boundary side that you can hit that time. Once he actually comes down, a lot of the times that corner will actually come down we threw an interception there. But against cover two, a lot of the times you will actually see that cornerback. He won't follow that long like right there. He didn't follow that long. And y'all can see it's going to be a one play touchdown against cover two as well. Now moving on, showing y'all how to beat cover four drop, man. Uh, very simple setup. We're going to go ahead and get into that so I can kind of show y'all how that works. Um, same as that play. It's just so many different things that you can do with this PA zone shot. Um, I wouldn't recommend abusing this play. That's why I have all the other things I showed y'all in these other formations that I made videos on. So y'all check that out. Um, but going back to the PA zone shot, this is kind of your big money play type formation. That's just going to help you just keep the ball rolling and everything. So what you want to go ahead and do, you actually want to motion over this circle receiver. Uh, then you want to go ahead and put square on a comeback route. And y'all excuse the noise if y'all hear any. But um, y'all want to go ahead and motion circle over just like this. And uh, then you want to put X on a street. And uh, then basically with this play, you just want to wait it out with R1 until he gets past the circle receiver and lead it towards the sideline. And it's going to be a one play touchdown against cover four drop. Very easy. It is a time in play. You do have to get the time and down pat because if you don't, you will. Um, it won't be an interception or anything like that, but it will be an incomplete pass. I had to practice the time it quite a bit, but it's a very easy play once you get the time it down. You just wait, wait till he gets right past circle, and that's when you want to go ahead and throw it. Um, unfortunately, they made the DT just come in on me, but let's see if we can go ahead and run it back so I can show you guys. Now, with this play, it does take a lot more time, but the thing about cover four drop, a lot of times you will have that time. Just because it's, it is a cover four drop. As y'all can see, once you get that time and down pat, that's usually what's going to happen. You're going to get a touchdown basically very easily against a cover four. Um, so nothing too crazy. Easy setup is really just the timing and everything. The timing isn't hard at all. Just wait for that R1 receiver to basically get behind the circle receiver. And y'all will see that eventually he will get open. It's just that time the pocket just kind of collapsed on me. I'm trying to just show you guys that it's really consistent. I'm going to show you guys one more time. I don't want to spend too much time on this play because y'all can kind of see the gist of everything. Uh, but hopefully we can go ahead and complete it one more time so y'all can kind of see how it works. And right now it's right when we want to throw it, right about there. And as you can see, it's going to be a one-play touchdown against cover four every single time. 
Um, moving on, showing y'all that this play beats cover four uh, palms the same as that way. Uh, we're going to be using the same as that play right here, PA zone shot, working it against a cover four palms. And then I'm going to be showing y'all how to beat a cover four quarters, uh, but not with this play specifically. Uh, you just want to put the tight end on the streak, and R1 is going to be coming across the middle wide open against a cover four palms. It is going to be a one play touchdown. Very simple, very easy. Basically, the same way that you beat cover two is going to be the same way that you beat cover four palms. Um, now, moving on, also, boys, I'm going to be showing y'all something very effective with this play. So, with this play, we're going to go back to it. And I'm going to be showing y'all some uh, different things out of it. Um, now, the PA zone shot, the beautiful thing about this play is just that deep post. It's a very unique post. Uh, you can make posts in the game, of course, but it's just how this post works. Um, so, you can also use the same post and use it against every zone coverage in the game. And it's gonna work it's gonna work against a cover three a cover two a cover four it's gonna be man coverage uh cover one and cover two uh, and what i like to do i like to put x on the inside post and circle on the inside post for basically check downs which y'all will see r1 is basically just gonna cook uh usually i try to possession catch it just to make sure that i hold on to it but basically what y'all see there it's gonna work against all zone coverages except for court quarters and palms it, it will work but it's inconsistent so i don't recommend running that against quarters or palms but y'all will see pa zone shot working it against a uh a cover one hole as well we're just gonna go ahead and um, motion this guy over like how we've been doing before and y'all will see um he's gonna beat his corner just like how we were doing with the zone coverage you just kind of got time to throw and lead it towards the sideline and i'm also going to show y'all how it works against a cover two this play is actually really effective against a cover two. Um, it's just, if I know that my opponent is in man coverage, I'm going to make like adjustments to it as well. Like if I see that my opponent is just steadily in man coverage, I may have this on one side, like uh, how I'm showing y'all. And then I may just put circle on a slant. And then um, just put like X on like a, a outside corner route, just because I know it's man coverage, just to kind of, Showed my opponent I know what I'm doing and you can do stuff like that It's just really identifying the coverages, but I'm just showing y'all that this post route is basically going to be everything And when it comes to a cover two, basically you can get a one play touchdown against a cover two man Very easily too um, with this play just going to a cover two man just running it stock This post is just gonna cook man coverage as y'all can see across the middle uh, for a one play touchdown so this pa shot bro it's just a very effective play and y'all can see even with cover two if we go ahead and motion him over like this uh it's still gonna have the same as that effect uh like how i was showing you guys before that he's gonna just beat man coverage and a lot of times as you can see that was kind of in coverage you can always if you know that your opponent is in cover two you can reroute the square receiver just so he can kind of get out deeper kind of quicker or uh, kind of get out of the way, but I recommend not running that specific thing against cover two But it does work against cover two if you know that your opponent is in cover two I just recommend doing a play action and just hit him across the middle real quick because if he gets up then just for a second pause to pause um, Y'all will see that's a one play touchdown But y'all can see how crazy this play is we spent about eight minutes just explaining that so uh, this video is going to be a little lengthy, but I'm going to try to keep it short for y'all. So um, the next thing we're going to go over how to beat cover four quarters is going to be the PA double post uh, working this against a cover four uh, quarters. And y'all, if y'all made it this far, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If y'all knew it only uh, takes a second and you will be part of the alert squad, man. Go ahead and do that for you, boy. And um, make sure to join the Discord because I'm trying to get that thing lit and going. So... Uh, what you want to go ahead and do with this play, boys, you just want to put uh, triangle on a streak. What you want to go ahead and do, you want motion over triangle, just like this. Uh, then you will watch, just watch this, boys. This is going to blow y'all mind. This is just, watch this. And then you, oh my jeez, I said it's going to blow y'all mind. I thought interception, that was actually crazy. But I actually set that up wrong. So I put X on a streak and put triangle on the streak. Oh my goodness, bro. I know, boy, y'all probably cracking up right now. But as y'all can see, you'll see a circle will come across the middle a lot of the times, wide open. 
But also with cover four quarters, it's really this running back. It's running back, uh, how you set it up. He will just get open a lot of times against a cover four quarter. It's just how he's running his route right now. But y'all can see he's just running wide open. Uh, that's usually how it typically works against cover four quarters. Last time that boy got covered and boy, I ain't gonna lie. I know y'all probably was like, man, he just showed he just showed us an interception. I promise y'all I didn't mean to, boys. I promise y'all I did not mean to. But usually if the running back kind of runs his route right, y'all can see that he he's just running. He's just running wide open. So when we go to the instant replay, y'all can see this man is just running wide open in the middle of the field. It's just a matter of getting the ball off to him. And also you got this deep kind of uh, post route getting open too. Um, but honestly, I think it works better if you go ahead and street the running back beforehand because he's usually supposed to go in between the left tackle and the left guard like straight up the middle like that but he, he's just getting caught up right now as y'all can see but y'all can clearly see against cover four he's basically gonna be open every single time it's just for some reason it's just he's just not getting through the old line like really easy like right now that's how he should be getting through the old line uh then eventually that safety will come down i'm gonna go to the instant replay so y'all can kind of see that um it's just how cover four quarter works with the match concept so you'll see if you have enough time you can see that now this safety just comes straight down because he has to occupy six. So I'm going to go ahead and run that back so y'all can see that this play is consistent. It's just kind of sometimes that make the running back get caught up, unfortunately. As you can see, he got caught up again. Um, so it's just inconsistent in that aspect. But if he gets through the lineman, he's going to be running wide open for a touchdown. But worst case scenario, if he doesn't get through the O line and stuff like that too, you always have like circle you can go ahead and hit. Uh, that's gonna be wide open against a curve four quarters. I just want to show y'all how effective it is with me actually throwing it to him. But for some reason, he just will not go in between um, the linemen right now. So hopefully we can get a clean release now. That time we do. And as y'all can see, it's just gonna be a one play touchdown against curve four quarters very easily. It, like I said, it just depends if they're going to let him get through the old line, which they usually do like almost every single time. Don't know why they wasn't really letting me um, basically pass it off to him just because he couldn't get past the old line. But y'all can kind of see that uh, even if the linebacker kind of follows him, it's going to be a one play touchdown, just how um, he's coming out of the backfield and just going straight up the middle. But this is a one play touchdown against cover four quarters. I know y'all been asking about palms and quarters, so I kind of just wanted to figure something out for y'all. That one did take a minute because cover four quarters actually does have some really good coverage, believe it or not. Um, but going over another thing that I want to show y'all in today's video is going to be this motion wide screen. Um, basically, this is going to work against every zone coverage in the game. It doesn't work that great against man coverage, if I'm being honest. You won't throw an interception or anything like that. But you just want to pick up yards consistently. I feel like with his tight end screen, I get zone coverage for the most part. If the user isn't um, going over there to kind of pick it off or anything, which he he's way too far to even do, um, you will pick up about 10 yards every single time with this play consistently, uh, with your opponent being in zone coverage. And if your opponent is running a lot of man coverage, this RPO read Y flat, is going to be the play that you want to go ahead and utilize this is basically going to cook man coverage with the tight end um you're going to pick up about like probably about 20 yards every time you run this against man coverage and it's just going to work consistently uh it's going to work the same way against zone coverage the only issue with zone coverage if your opponent plays hard flats it will um basically be no yards if i'm being honest with you guys but if they're just playing regular curl flats this play is going to get you a first down basically every single time that you run it um now moving on boys uh showing y'all some more things out of this formation we are going to be using the pa read smash uh working this this is going to be like your high low read all you want to do is just put x on a flat put circle on a street and i like to put square on a in route and block the running back very simple adjustment so you can throw it to the tight end very quick and I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's basically a first down every single time. And then you also have this corner route that's just going to be very, very effective against every zone coverage in the game. As you can see, that's about 20 yards every single time. And your opponent literally has to set his zone drops for that to be stopped or has to go over there. 
and user it. And if you start sending his zone drops too far back, that's when you hit that flat route. And Square does get open. Um, it's just really waiting for Square now and then. But Square is kind of that route where it's pulling all the linebackers and stuff down. So it just kind of depends on the situation. But Square can definitely get open if the user is trying to um, cover the R1 receiver heavily. But as y'all can see right here, even though they just wouldn't let it go over his head for some reason, uh, we're going to go ahead and run it back. Very simple play to run. High, low read. Nothing too crazy. As y'all can see, it's going to be money every single time for the most part. And this is just something that you can go ahead and mix in with this whole scheme uh, out of this formation. Um, now, moving on as well, I'm going to be showing y'all um, this running play as well. And it is very, very effective, man. And I just realized on here, if you set your block in a certain way, it will just allow you to just run the ball so much easier. And we're just going to be using the inside zone. But what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to motion over this tight end, boys. And what I want y'all to do with this play, I want y'all to press your left top bumper just like this. And then I want you to hold it. And then what you want to do, you want to take your right stick and you want to click it to the left. Just like that. And it should half slot to the left. And watch how this just opens everything up for it. Like, look at that. Look at that. Like, I'm telling you guys, this running play, bro. This running play is honestly crazy, bro. You miss all of this stuff that I'm showing y'all, boys. Y'all will just be moving the ball so easy. And this is just out of just one scheme that I'm showing y'all, man. With all the stuff I already showed y'all in previous videos, man. Y'all boys should be absolutely clicking. Um, and just doing y'all thing, man. But it's a very effective running play. Even if you run it stop, it'll still work. But y'all can see, it's just not the same. That's why you want to make sure that you just have your zone drop set up. Well, not just on jobs, y'all excuse me, but have your blocking set up how you need to have it. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize that. I didn't realize it, honestly, um, how much it really affects the play. So I like to motion them over and just do the half uh, block to the left. And it just opens up the run lane so much more, man. And as y'all can see, it's pretty consistent. Play that I'm going to be showing y'all in today's video is going to be mesh. Uh, we are going to be working this against a cover three first. But this play right here is going to work against a cover three, a cover two, and a cover four. Now, what you want to go ahead and do with this play, boys, you want to put square on each street. You want to put R1 on each street. And what you want to do, you want to put your running back on a flat, and you want to put your circle receiver on a end route. Now, the read on this play is X. X is going to be open against cover three, cover two, and he is going to be open against cover four. So... Um, this is the setup. I'm going to show you how it kind of works. Go ahead and let him motion. And you will see he will basically be open on this boundary just like this. You can rack catch it or you can possession catch it. Just depending on how you're feeling. Um, but it's going to work consistently. And the reason that we got our I mean, uh, circle and we have triangle on their routes, they're basically check downs. Uh, circle is a really good check down because he gets open a lot of times. And then worst case scenario, you can basically always hit the running back even though it might not be that many yards. So that's against cover three. I'm gonna show y'all how it works against cover four really quick so y'all see how that works as well. Um, so mesh, working at against a cover four draw. Um, all you wanna do is streak square, same as that adjustment, streak R1. Uh, put the running back on a flat, put circle on a in route. Y'all will see it's gonna be the same effect. Uh, I really do like this formation because it's just so much out of this formation, but as y'all can see, he's open. Just they made us throw it out of bounds, bro, which is that hurt, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, like, come on, bro. You can do better than that, bro. But y'all can see he was open. We're going to see if we can go ahead and complete it this time around. As you can see, it's pretty consistent. Going to work the same way against cover two. But with cover two, I'm going to show y'all how it kind of works. You do have to kind of lead it more upfield depending on the cover two. So we're going to go back to it so y'all know that it works against all these coverages. Uh, so same as that adjustments, nothing crazy boys. Uh, so this setup with cover two, it's basically in the same area. You may have to lead it upfield just a little bit longer. But as you can see, you just rat catch it, take it upfield, and it's gonna be the same with all three coverages. Now moving on, because I don't want to spend too much time on this. Y'all can see that that play works very good. Um, you also have this uh, motion slot screen, and this is basically just gonna fool your opponent. 
uh, when you uh, do that motion thing. So you've been killing him with this motion play. And now you got this that you can go ahead and hit him with. And this screen play, it works really good. Basically against all zone coverage, it's gonna cook. Y'all can see, look how many yards we just pick up right there. And uh, then on top of this, you're gonna have your opponent's user basically following the tight end, bro. Cause he's basically gonna bail out because if he's in zone coverage, Basically, there's no way to guard that, bro. And he's just gonna bail out. And you might even score a touchdown depending on the situation uh, with the screen pass. That's so simple. Um, now, moving on, really simple play, but very effective in this game. We are gonna be using the motion cross switch. Um, now, this play, I love this play as well. Utilizing the tight end, this is gonna work against every zone coverage in the game. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all how to set this up. All you wanna do is just put square on a street. You wanna go ahead and put R1 on a street. You wanna go ahead and put circle on a deep crosser. So you wanna change this crosser from that short one to that deep one. And basically, X, he's gonna be open against every zone coverage in the game, boys. Does not matter. And he's gonna be consistently open for about five to 10 yards every single time. Uh, doesn't matter if it's cover three, cover two, cover four, does not matter. Uh, then the beautiful thing about this play as well, um, you do have that crossing route and that crossing route is just so effective it's just whether or not you have enough time to get the crosser uh throw to the crosser because it's definitely going to be open so if we get enough time here hopefully we do so i can try to show y'all um just want to go ahead and possession catch or if you have a little bit more time you can definitely rack catch that pass so very easy setup boys nothing too crazy uh you can use this against any zone coverage in college football 25 now moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. We do have the spot lead swing. Now this play is gonna work against every zone coverage in the game as well. The adjustments that you wanna do is just simply put circle and R1 on each streak. And you're basically making a screen pass for your running back. And it's gonna be uh, very consistent to basically pick you up a first down every single time. As long as your opponent is in zone coverage, this play is gonna work. It does not work against man coverage, just putting that out there for y'all boys. But when it comes to zone coverage, this is gonna be the play that you go to if you need a quick first down. Um, moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation that's just very effective. Uh, I am gonna be showing y'all how to be cover three and cover four out of this formation as well. It's gonna be the post dig. Uh, we're just gonna work this out of a cover three sky. Now, this is probably the most complicated thing I'm going to be showing y'all in today's video, but it really isn't. Um, so, with me in cover three, you're going to have to make a stem. So, you do that by press triangle and click square. That's who we're making the custom stem for. You want to click your left top bumper and you want to flick your left stick up twice. You need to do that twice, boys. So, just like I said, triangle, square, hold your top left bumper and click uh flick your left stick up twice that's gonna make the stem go out further two times so that's all you want to do after that you want to go ahead and put circle on a corner route you do that by pressing triangle and circle and flicking your right stick to the right and what you want to do now boys you want to go ahead and put x on a streak motion him over towards square and you want to put r1 on a slant this is going to be your cover three beater. Uh, this is going to be cover three for a one play touchdown. It's just a matter of if you have enough time. As y'all can see, oh my, did y'all see that, bro? I was running for my life. Like, that was actually insane. But uh, let's go ahead and run that back one more time. Uh, we're going to put X on a street, like how we were doing before. Did the custom stem. And y'all can see it, it's very quick to set up. So you really don't have to worry about it once you get it down pat. Bro, why is my left tackle just getting cooked? But as y'all can see, um, a lot of times you will actually be able to fit that in there, bro. And it's going to be a bigger window than that. It's just really getting the timing down pat. And I'm kind of rushing the throw because of the pass rush. But if you have enough time, we go ahead and wait it out. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes, we got it there, bro. There, that's how we got it. But yeah, that's going to be the cover three beater, man. Very simple. Nothing too crazy. It's just whether or not you're going to have enough time to get the pass off. And more times than not, you will. It's just right now bro they they kind of want od on me but as y'all can see it's pretty consistent we're gonna go ahead and run it back hopefully i can come on yeah we we gonna we gonna give it up but y'all y'all seen how it worked the previous play and y'all can go ahead and set that up and it's gonna be a one play touchdown against cover three i don't want to spend too much time on that but moving on uh we are going to be using the same as that play to be cover four 
um, cover for a drop. So what you want to go ahead and do, you want to do the same thing that I showed y'all previously. Make square, do that custom stone, then you want to go ahead and do that twice. What you want to do after that, you want to put a circle on a, uh, a corner route, just like how we were doing the cover three. But the only thing that you want to do next, you want to go ahead and put X on a streak and actually leave him. Uh, then you can go ahead and put your uh, R1 receiver on a slant. Uh, basically, this is going to be cover three. I mean, cover four for a one play touchdown. You just want to wait till he gets behind X. And as you can see, it's going to be a one play touchdown every single time against a cover four. Like I said, timing of this play, you want to wait for the square receiver to basically get behind the X tight end. And it's basically going to be a one play touchdown against cover four. So let's go ahead and set out one more time so I can show you guys. Put circle on a corner route, put X on a street, put R1 on a slant. Uh, go ahead, custom stone uh, square. This is going to be the setup. This is going to be a little bit easier for us since it's cover four. We do got a little bit more time than what we was getting with the cover three. But as y'all can see, it's going to be consistent just like the cover three reader. And um, that is how you're going to be cover three and cover four for a one play touchdown. Now moving on boys, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. Uh, you do have the have that slip screen. It's just going to work against uh, basically everything. It's just another thing that you can go ahead and mix in uh, with everything that I'm showing y'all in today's video. And um, just something that you can mix in. It's going to be very effective in this game. Uh, showing y'all some more things as well out of this formation. Um, I'm going to be showing y'all how to be man coverage. That's going to be using the post dig. The same play that we've been utilizing in today's video uh we're just gonna work this against a cover one hole what you want to go ahead and do boys uh you just want to put x on a drag that's basically all you want to do um all the reads that you see on the field are going to beat man coverage for the most part uh circle is just absolutely going to kill bro um he's going to be like black panther and just go kill bunker bro like on this route it's honestly ridiculous um you got r1 r1 is basically just gonna cut man coverage every single time it's just that time that yellow zone got in our way but if i get a little bit more time i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it works you'll see that he's basically just killing his corner off the line of scrimmage and it's just gonna kill man coverage and also you can get a one play touchdown depending on what your opponent is doing if he's in cover one hole you just have to wait wait oh my jeez bro like the pressure practice mode is actually crazy sometimes but i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all one more time really quick so go ahead i'm gonna just run and stop but square you kind of just wait for square and he will score a touchdown it would be a lot more clear that's why i put s on the drag because if you wait and have enough time it's just i can't get enough time to save my life right now uh with the d-line going crazy but if i can get enough time to kind of show you guys right now you can see that if you have a fast enough receiver, you can take this play for a one play touchdown very easily. Um, and just showing y'all some more things, not spending too much time on that. As y'all can see, basically every route is going to kill man coverage. Um, you do have uh, this vertical play. It's going to be cover four quarters and palms. I'm going to show y'all uh, that right now too as well. So we're going to go to quarters first. All you want to go ahead and do, boys, you want to put X on a street and you just want to drag your circle receiver. Uh, on this play, the R1 receiver is going to be the uh, person that's going to be open every single time against a cover four quarters and palms. I'm going to show you all that works against a cover four palms as well. Uh, very simple, very easy concept to run. A lot of people basically run verticals already, so not very hard to set up, but this is kind of a different uh, abbreviation of it. So put X on a street, put circle on a uh, drag route. All you want to do is just wait for R1 to kind of clear. As you can see, he's going to be open every single time. Again, so cover four quarters and cover four palms. Now moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. I know it's a lot that I'm showing y'all, but it is some very good plays out of this formation. You do have the Z spot. Uh, the Z spot, this is going to be one of those plays that you can run against every coverage in the game. It's just going to be a high low read so it's going to be up to you on which receiver you throw to mainly that's going to be r1 or x what you want to do with this play though you want to uh, click press triangle press r1 click l1 and we're making a custom stem you want to go up one notch with r1 after that you can go ahead and put square on one of these or you can put them on a z route 
uh, totally up to you. You can put them on a zig or you can put them on an inside post. Uh, so basically it's a high low read. As you can see, we're gonna take those yards with X if we have to. Go back to the play. I'm gonna show you the, uh, show y'all as well that you can also hit the R1 receiver a lot of the time too. Uh, just see how it kind of looks. As you can see, that time it's gonna get picked probably. But it just kind of depends on what your opponent is in uh, coverage wise. Uh, basically just another little wrinkle that you can throw into the offense with this high low uh, read with the Z spot. Um, now, unfortunately with the scheme though, boys, it doesn't really have any good running plays, unfortunately. So we kind of stuck there. Um, we do have the 45 quit base, which is okay. Uh, it's only gonna pick you up a few yards. So I'll show you all that really quick. And then I'm gonna show you all cover two beater out of this formation too. As you can see, you don't pick up many yards. I would say about one to two yards, but if your opponent is 100% uh, committing to the pass, you can actually break this just because our pass commit kind of works on defense. But this isn't gonna be like a really good run play for you, honestly, uh, just how it kind of operates. I mean, the guard does get out, but it's just, it doesn't give you a lot of space to work with. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all one last thing in today's video. Uh, it is gonna be uh, the verticals working it against a cover two uh, all you want to do with this play boys you just want to put x on a streak you want to put r1 on a post what you want to do you want to custom stem the r1 receiver and you want to do it twice and um the read on the play is going to be circle you just gotta wait for circle to get past the corner and then you just want to rat catch it and take it upfield if you have it fast enough for the receiver it is gonna be a one play touchdown. We got the 83 half bat choice. This is one of the best cover three beaters in college football 25. Uh, we are just gonna be working this A against A cover three. So what you wanna go ahead and do is you wanna put S on A street, you wanna put circle on A C route. You wanna motion over your square receiver and block your running back. Now with this play, R1 is gonna be cover three for a one play touchdown, but you also got to read circle and X that can possibly beat cover three for a huge game. So we're gonna go ahead and run this. As y'all can see, if we get enough time, it's gonna beat cover three for a one play touchdown. Very simple, nothing too crazy there. Go ahead and run it back for you guys. Same as that setup, but this time we're not gonna hit um, R1. And this is the beautiful thing about this play too. If the user wants to go follow R1, he can. Uh, as you can see, we got X. And it's going to be a one play touchdown too against cover three. It's just really that effective. And if for some reason X isn't open for any given reason, um, you will have circle open for a uh, about 30 to 40 yards against a cover three. If he uh, decides to not come, well, basically not come down and follow X. So with this play, you got two cover three beaters in one play. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Y'all can see how effective that actually is. Um, now moving on boys, showing y'all some more things out of this formation. We do have the dagger. This is one of my favorite plays, man. Just working this against a cover three and or a cover four drop. All you want to go ahead and do with this play is put square on a street. You want to put a triangle on a flat. You want motion over your R1 receiver. And you just want to put him on a inside post just like this. The read on the play is going to be X in circle. So you'll see X is going to clear. X is going to clear. Boom. That's about when you want to hit them. A lot of the times it's going to be a, a lot cleaner window than that actually. Uh, but even if it's a close window like that, basically you're going to be able to fit it in every single time. Just got to make sure to go ahead and possession catch that pass. But we're going to do the same as that setup. Nothing too crazy. Go ahead and motion our receiver if it lets us. Um, but for some reason, it, oh my geez, it got me player locking. But for some reason, they will not let me motion them back over. So I'm going to just go ahead and reset. Uh, so we're gonna motion over our all one receiver, put him on inside post, uh, street the square receiver, put triangle on a flat, same setup as y'all can see. Triangle is gonna clear. Basically, the running back is keeping that corner down just enough for us to fit that in that window. And we also have the circle receiver, and that's gonna basically be our secondary receiver that we can hit anytime. Uh, that's the reason that we have R1 coming across on that inside post because he's holding those linebackers down just long enough for us to basically hit circle. 
um, that time we didn't really get a clean window but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that one more time uh, same setup nothing crazy as y'all can see uh, then circle the timing of throwing the circle you kind of want him like right up in there uh, that time it was actually covered but let's go ahead and run that back one more time so y'all can kind of see when to hit him because his route is more of a timing route more than X but he does get open very consistently. Uh, so let's go ahead and run it back really quick. As you can see, kind of just wait. And that's about when you want to go ahead and hit him. Uh, right after X is basically finished running his route. So it does take a little bit longer sometimes. But it is a very good route to have the compliment that X receiver went on across the middle. You just have to kind of wait it out a little bit more. Um, but as y'all can see, there's times where he gets open directly in the middle of the field. So you just kind of have to eye circle because he can get open in the beginning or he can get open towards the end of X's route. So depending on the situation, you kind of eye how circle is maneuvering in between the coverages. But with this play, your first read is going to be X. Um, now moving on, showing y'all some more things out of this formation as well. Uh, we do have uh, verticals. I'm going to be showing y'all how to beat cover two. Very simple. If y'all been following me already, y'all should already know how to beat cover two. But what I typically do, I just put X on A street, put R1 on A drag, put square on the drag. Very simple. And basically, you just want to wait for circle to kind of clear this corner. And you want to go ahead and possession catch it. A lot of times, you're going to be able to fit that in there every single time. It's just whether or not getting the. Um, accurate pass but you'll see right here just try to wait it out a little bit it's going to be a uh, big gain every single time against hit cover two uh so nothing too complicated there very simple play uh nothing too crazy there but moving on showing y'all some more things we do have a cover four quarters and cover four palms uh beater uh, I just like coming out in verticals based because basically you're going to have to reassign all your receivers to different routes anyway. So this might be the hardest play that I'm going to be showing y'all in today's video, but it's really not once you get everything on pat. So working against a cover four quarters is going to work against a cover four quarters and a cover four palms the same as that way. All you want to go ahead and do, boys, you want to put X on a streak. You want to put R1 on an inside post. You want to put a triangle on a streak and motion him out. You want to put triangle on a slant. You want to put square on a streak. You want to put circle on a drag. This is the setup. Triangle and R1 are your reads on this play, boys. Um, for the most part, they are going to cook. As you can see, one play touchdown against cover four and cover four palms. And it's going to work consistently. And I'm um, just showing y'all, too, how the running back gets open. Uh, go ahead and motion him out. Put square on a streak. Put S on the street, put R1 on a post, drag the circle receiver. And you'll see a lot of times two triangle was just absolutely cut too against a curve four quarters and palms. And it's just gonna beat your opponent very easily uh, for a big game. Um, so moving on, very effective play right there that y'all can go ahead and utilize. Uh, we do have the RPO alert out. I'm gonna be showing y'all in today's video as well. Now with this play, uh, you do you can just run it stop, just run the play. It's a very effective run play if you do just want to do that. As y'all can see, it's going to consistently pick you up about 5 to 10 yards off rip every single time. Um, so very good run play, very good blocking, uh, just how the RPO kind of operates. But if you know that your opponent is in zone coverage, basically square is going to be open every single time for the most part. Now, the only thing with this play too, boys, um... You don't really want to run this against man coverage. You can. Square is still going to get open. But if it's zone coverage, basically you want to be running this, like I said, when your opponent is in zone coverage. But you want to throw it to the X receiver when there's only two cornerbacks on the right-hand side. And usually with that, you're going to pick up about five yards every single time. If you see three people over there and you don't want to run the ball, that's just when you want to go ahead and throw it to this tight end. And this tight end is just going to pick up a ton of yards. So very consistent play that you can go ahead and run and it's basically just gonna uh, keep your opponent on their toes too not knowing whether you're gonna throw to the RPO route or you're gonna run it or throw to the other RPO route because there's two on the play and it's just very very effective um, now moving on to boys showing y'all some more things out of this formation 
Uh, we do have some man beating plays that I'm going to be going over in today's video. Uh, we have the curls wide swirl. Uh, very simple concept, very easy to run. All you want to do is just put X on the inside post. That's all you want to do. You can throw it to any of the comeback routes. You basically just got to time it. My timing was absolutely terrible on that play, but uh, let's go ahead and run that back. So basically, you can throw it to any of these receivers that's doing the comeback routes. Um, basically, that inside post that I'm making with X is going to occupy any yellow zones, uh, hook curls, or anything like that. As you can see, he's open. Go to the instant replay because right now, I'm kind of just rushing the throws, or maybe it's just because I'm getting accurate passes. But y'all can clearly see he's open against man. He's open against man. It's just getting the timing on Pat, which isn't hard at all. Uh, that was really kind of just an inaccurate pass when I'm looking at it. And then also you got tight end that we were throwing to previously. But not only this play, we also have another man beating route that I'm going to be showing y'all in today's video. It's going to be the branch return. Uh, I really like this play a lot. All you want to really do is just put X high inside post just like this. Uh, every route that you see on the field is a man beating route. Uh, except for X really and X will still beat man occasionally but if we go ahead and go down the list boom it's gonna kill man coverage and depending on the animation you get you can rat catch that and you also got the circle receiver he's gonna kill man coverage and boom as y'all can see picking up huge gains uh, then you also have the tight end he's gonna actually cook on this play as well so if we go ahead and run this you'll see wait for him to kind of clear and boom that's going to be easy yardage against man coverage so with this play you got man beating routes everywhere on this play which is why i really like running it um but yeah there's some really good plays out of this formation you also do have the uh half bat screen uh slip screen that's a very consistent play the inside zone i don't typically like running it because we have that rpo play and it just works so much better but you got this uh, screen pass that you can go ahead and mix in into the offense too. Uh, to kind of just go ahead and keep your opponent honest, as you can see, if you get some blocking, uh, you can pick up some big yards with that play. But first, we got the deuce close. I'm not going to spend too much time in this formation because I'm going to go over the deuce close and the bunch ace. And I'm going to do why off trips in a separate video because there, there's some good plays in there as well. So really in the deuce close, I have like... Uh, three very effective plays for y'all so first one i got the stretch the stretch just kind of depends on what your opponent is doing uh but it's usually a pretty consistent run for the most part as you can see if you don't outrun your blockers which i almost did a lot of the times you will pick up a decent amount of yards and um it's very consistent that's what i like about it as you can see um the blocks hold up very well and it's just another thing that you can go ahead and mix in to your arsenal when uh, running this formation and running uh, this playbook. Um, now moving on, showing y'all another run play that I like to use is going to be the dive play. Dives just work extremely well in college football, and I just love running dives because they're pretty consistent. I mean, every single time, I mean, three to five yards every single time you run a dive play isn't bad. And then on top of that, you do have a chance to score a touchdown every now and then depending on what your opponent is doing on the defense side of the ball but as y'all can see it's pretty consistent it's not like a ton of yards but it is a consistent amount of yards as y'all can see your boy controller is about to die bro we are on e but i'm going to show y'all one more thing out of this formation and it's a very nice play that you can go ahead and use uh basically you do have to make it yourself so I just recommend going to bench and we're just gonna run this against a cover three now this is gonna work against basically every coverage in the game um it's basically almost like a high low read but for the most part your underneath is always going to be open uh so what you want to go ahead and do boys you want to put x on a streak you just want to put a uh, square on a inside post and you actually want to put x on a drag so you want to put x on a drag and put triangle on a streak this is the setup basically every single time x is going to be open and that little short drag route will pick you up about 15 and 20 yards which is pretty crazy and it's going to happen consistently and then on top of that you do have this square receiver that's gonna uh, get open across the middle too and what makes the square receiver get open a lot more too the user will take his middle linebacker once you abuse him with that drag route and that will basically just leave the middle of the field open 
but I'll show you guys one more time how this draft works. Like basically just works. Y'all can see this little draft route right here, bro, is basically gonna pick you up a first down almost every single time. So basically your opponent has to respect it or he has to really mess with his zone drops. But for the most part, even with the zone drops, you can hit the tight end very early and still go ahead and rat catch it. So it's just a very effective play that I want to show y'all. But this is a very good scheme, but it's not even touching what we are about to get into. So we are in the bunch ace boys. Uh, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the running plays that we do have in here. My favorite is actually gonna be to have that slam. Uh, it's very effective. To me, it's pretty consistent for the most part. Um, that time I just didn't hit the hole. And also y'all, when you're running the ball, never, never hit the acceleration button. That's what I did there. As you can see, there's a bit difference just from me not doing that. Uh, but yeah, if you if you hit the speed button to try to pick up those yards quick, a lot of times you won't pick up any yards. It's just how it works. You just don't want to use your uh, your acceleration button for speed because it's just gonna make the blocks just fall apart. But this is one of the runs that you can go ahead and mix in. Nothing too crazy, but it's a pretty consistent run. Uh, then we also have the duo. The duo is a pretty decent run as well. Uh, as you can see, it can be pretty consistent. Uh, that linebacker just shot the gap, but more times than not, when you're playing somebody, the user is not just going to shoot the gap that easy. But as y'all can see, it's just another run that you can go ahead and mix in. So you got a run that you can run to the left, and you also have this run where you can go ahead and run to the right as well. But what makes this formation so effective uh, is actually the passing place in this formation. I'm going to go ahead and go over that with y'all real quick. And it's actually going to be the PA port shot. So this play right here, this is going to be a pass and play basically for everything. I'm going to be showing y'all different abbreviations of it. So PA port, first thing we're going to go ahead and do is just work this against a cover three. What you want to go ahead and do, you want motion over square and put him on a comeback route. You want to put X on a street and you just want to go ahead and block your tight end. This is going to be your cover three beater, boys. Very simple, very easy. Uh, it's just a matter if you have enough time and more times than not you will have enough time uh, You have so many people blocking so you should be in pretty good shape it's Just sometimes in practice mode they get in pretty quick But as you can see if we get enough time go ahead and rat catch that and it's gonna be a touchdown every single time Against a cover three now moving on showing y'all some more things out of this formation How to be a cover two very simple as well nothing too complicated uh, we're gonna go back to the same as that play working it against a cover two All you want to go ahead and do is just put circle on your street And you want to go ahead and put square on a drag route for a check now and go ahead and block your tight end The read on the play is going to be X You just want to go ahead and lead it towards the sideline and go ahead and rat catch that And it's going to be a very easy and consistent play to work against a cover two and moving on showing y'all how to beat cover four it's going to be the same as that way to beat uh, cover three. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. Now I'm going to show y'all how to beat cover four, four quarters and palms. Uh, you just want to put X on a street, motion over your square receiver. Go ahead and block your tight end. Um, you can put your tight end on a drag or something, or if you want to put him on anything else, you can. I'm just blocking him just to get a little bit more extra protection. But with circle, you just kind of want to wait for him to clear that safety and a lot of times you can make him miss and it's going to be a touchdown against a cover four um now moving on to boys showing y'all how to beat cover four quarters and cover four palms it's going to be uh very simple nothing really too complicated uh so we're going to just go to a cover four quarters it's going to work exactly the same for both of them so what you want to go ahead and do you want to go ahead and put r1 on a inside post but you want to go ahead and smart route it or if you can't smart route it, go ahead and use the stem. You do that by clicking his icon and clicking L1 and clicking your left stick up probably about twice. Uh, now, after what, what you want to do after that, boys, you want to go ahead and put X on a street. You want to go ahead and put circle on a drag route. And you want to put square on a streak. When you see the play, you're going to know who the read is. It's going to be X. He's just going to be running wide open against a cover four. And... Well, quarters and palms, both coverages, and it's just gonna be running wide open. So I'll show y'all that one more time. Put square on a street, put R1 on a inside post, go ahead and smart route it, put X on a street, put circle on a drag route. This is the setup, very easy. X is gonna be the person that gets you a touchdown. And 
very easy, very light work. Nothing crazy, boy. It's very simple. Uh, I mean, if y'all just enjoyed that, man, make sure to hit that like button because that is pretty crazy, honestly. But as y'all can see, this formation has some very, very effective plays uh, for just being uh, basically zone in general. Uh, we don't really have any crazy man beaters out of this uh, formation. You can kind of just kind of freelance it with man coverage. Uh, what I typically like to do, I like to put X on a zig route. Uh, you do that by just going like that. And then you want to go ahead and put R1 on a street. And I like to put square on a slant. And what I'll usually do, I'll just re-block the running back. As y'all can see, somebody's going to get open against man coverage, whether it's the zig route or whether it's that deep post or that slant. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run that back so y'all can kind of just see uh, what I'm talking about here. If you want to, you can lead the play action, but I find against man coverage, you kind of don't want to do that because it just allows you to kind of hit your reads on time. And that's what you want to do, especially if somebody is playing a lot of man coverage. The two running plays that we are going to be utilizing in today's video is going to be the halfback inside zone and also the halfback dive. So I'm going to be going over these uh, running plays first and then we'll get into the passing plays. Uh, typically, you can run uh, these running plays to either side and they're going to be pretty effective. Uh, right there, as y'all can see, that would be pretty close to a first down. Uh, but they also do work really well if you run them to the left hand side i don't know what it is about it but running these plays to the left hand side they are just so effective uh the other play that i was showing y'all the other running play it's already set up going to the left hand side but as y'all can see the for some reason the blocking is just really really good when running it to the left um but i just love this game so much too that time he just came off the block because i i was holding the turbo but the beautiful thing about this run scheme as well, too, is that you can run to either side. And it's just going to be like, as y'all can see, I'm picking up about like 10 yards every single time. Uh, and the blocking on it is just so good. As y'all can see, look at this. Like, every, like, I can basically maneuver how I want with this run formation, um, just how it really works. So we're going to move on. And I'm going to show y'all the other running play as well. Uh, it is going to be uh, the half bat inside zone. I really like this play as well. This, as y'all can see, it's already going to the left. And y'all will see. I don't know why the guard didn't pick him up. But we still picked up about like three to four yards. But y'all will see with this play. It's going to work the same exact way. Like, look at this, boys. Like, this, these two running plays I'm showing y'all, y'all will be running all over your opponent. And then on top of all the passing plays I showed y'all already out of this game, man, y'all should be basically unstoppable, boys. So, man, yeah, if y'all... Y'all, y'all type W's in the chat, man. If y'all, if y'all feel that way, man. Uh, but I am gonna drop the full ebook for y'all boys, so y'all can have a full like video to just watch and to like, and so you can go back and watch it later. Uh, to kind of just see everything I did in one shot. Uh, but yeah, you can go ahead and flip this play too, just by flicking your right stick to the right. And as y'all can see, man, look at this, bro. Look at this, bro. This run scheme is insane. It is a really, really nice run scheme. It, it's, it's definitely a problem. It's definitely a problem to be dealt with. Um, but not only that, I'm going to be showing y'all some passing plays out of this formation as well. Now, that is kind of the downside. It doesn't really have any crazy passing plays, but it does have some decent ones. So that's what we're going to go ahead and get into. So the play that I like a lot is going to be PA verticals. Uh, so it actually does have a cover three beater. You do have to run it stock um, Just running it stock X will get wide open basically against cover three And it's basically gonna be a one play touchdown if you have a tight end that's fast enough And it's gonna be money every single time against a cover three um, Moving on because I don't want to spend too much time on it uh, Really easy just go with the play as set up. You don't have to do any adjustments uh, we're going to go back to PA verticals. Uh, also, let me show y'all one more thing. With cover three as well, you can also hit R1 like up the seam, but you kind of want to lead it kind of towards the right-hand side or towards the sideline and possession catch it. So you actually got two reads on this play that y'all can go ahead and um, hit when it comes to cover three. Um, but I'm going to be showing y'all how to beat cover two out of this formation as well. Cover two. It, it just destroys uh, cover two for a one play touchdown. If you find that your opponent is in cover two, uh, 
all you want to do is just run the play stop that's the beautiful thing about it and you just want to hit r1 right in the middle of the field and it's going to be a one play touchdown it's just that we got laid out a little bit too far so i'm gonna go ahead and run that back really quick but as y'all can see this is going to be a one play touchdown against cover two every single time easy setup no adjustments needed very simple now when it comes to cover four Cover four, you do have to do a little bit of adjustments to be able to beat it. Um, I do run PA verticals again, but um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some adjustments. So we're gonna use cover four drop. So what you wanna go ahead and do, you wanna put X on a uh, corner route, and you wanna put square on a drag. Uh, you can go ahead and keep the play action, totally up to you. But the read is usually gonna be X on the play, but it's really a high low read. But the majority of the time, if I'm being honest, X is going to be open against that cover four. Kind of just wait it out. But if not, always just take your check down just like that. And that check down is just going to pick you up a lot of yards as well. So and in any situation, too, if you ever feel like you want to make X go a little bit deeper, you can always just custom stem it, too. If you feel like that, that corner is kind of in the way, just go ahead and do that, too. And that's going to pick you up about 20 yards. So it, you just kind of got to eye the defense to kind of see what your opponent is in uh, play by play and kind of maneuver that way as well. Um, moving on, going to be showing y'all how to beat cover four quarters and cover four palms. Uh, the play that we are going to be using is going to be the China under. You can really use this for any play, if I'm being honest. Uh, any zone coverage is kind of going to be one of those plays that you just use to move the ball. Doesn't really matter what your opponent is in. Uh, and you can almost run it stop. So we're going to go to China under. It's going to work against cover four quarters and palms. All you want to go ahead and do is just put square on a, I mean, a circle on a slant. And the read is really going to be R1 first. R1 is basically going to pick you up a first down just about every single time for the most part. Uh, then you also have this circle receiver that he will eventually clear all the way across and y'all will see that's how we got sat but i'm gonna go to the instant replay so y'all can kind of see I, i'm gonna run a play one more time for y'all as well but once he clears all these guys you can see basically he's one-on-one -on -one. it's like his man coverage and a lot of times you can actually take it for a touchdown uh depending on how fast your receiver is and everything like that but as y'all can see it's gonna consistently work and this time we will actually score a touchdown. So very simple, nothing too complicated about that play whatsoever. Um, now getting into how to beat man coverage out of this formation, uh, we do have a play that's basically stock already, and that's going to be the play slants. Um, just running this against a man coverage. What I typically like to do, I like to put X on a drag. Uh, you can put R1 on a zig route, or you can put R1 on a street, totally up to you. Uh, if you put R1 on a zig route, basically all your options are man beaten routes for the most part. If you don't, R1 is just going to clear out that deep safety and that may give you more opportunity for square. So as you can see, um, you got circle, you got square, you got the drag route, and you got a lot of options. And the one thing I do like though, having the zig route, it is nice because it's always that read that you can just always hit so quick against man coverage. But... It just kind of depends what you're trying to do and how you are trying to move the offense against man coverage. But very effective play, very simple play, nothing too crazy. As y'all can see, we keep getting sat, but um, it's a really easy play to go ahead and run against man coverage. Uh, if I'm being honest with you guys, I probably would recommend just putting R1 on a Z route uh, just because it's just going to make it a lot easier for you guys when it comes to beating man coverage. And I would just run it like this, have X on a drag and R1 on a zig route. And basically somebody's gonna get open. Doesn't really matter. Kind of just pick and choose and just kind of eye it to see who's actually open. But boys, this is the scheme, man. Like this run scheme is very, very powerful, man. You can do a lot of things out of this formation. Uh, you also do have the half bat slip screen. So that is another thing that you can go ahead and kind of just mix in uh, out of your offense as well. And as y'all can see, it's just going to be another wrinkle in your offense that you can go ahead and mix in out of this formation. First thing that I'm going to be showing y'all is the motion half bat swing really quick. Uh, this is a very good kind of screen pass. This is basically going to work against every uh, defense for the most part. It's just something that you can kind of just mix in. Uh, in your bag when you're going ahead and kind of using this play 
it's kind of like it it's not the best screen in the world but it is gonna work the majority of the time against just about every coverage i would say at a very minimal you're usually gonna pick up about five yards every single time especially if somebody isn't like a like a cover two or something like that um you're definitely gonna pick up a lot of yards just because there's only about like two guys over there and as y'all can see there's three people stacked over there but the blocking on the play is pretty decent as y'all can see it's pretty consistent uh, then if you're able to make that one guy miss sometimes you can even take this simple play for a touchdown so um moving on we got some more things out of this formation we got this really sweet play we got the motion tight end mid screen uh so once you got your opponent running over there with his user trying to guard triangle you got this this tight end screen that's just gonna like absolutely just have him in shot bro and it's a it's a really nice play just to mix in because a lot of the time the user would be so hell bent on the running back that he'll just completely forget about the tight end because the tight end just kind of kind of hides behind the alignment in a way and it's just another wrinkle that you can go ahead and mix in with this formation um moving on showing y'all some more things we do have the motion inside cross and i like this formation because it always has the running back motioning so your opponent doesn't really know what you're doing at all times so the motion inside cross um you do have a cover three beater in here but you do have to do a specific setup for it so you gotta put x on a street first off you want to put square on a comeback you can leave circle on his route but i typically like to put him on an inside post and what you want to do after that boys you want to slide protect to your left hand side you do that by holding your left top bumper and uh, with your right stick you want to click it to the left down and that's going to make you uh slot protect to the left and really you just kind of want to slowly kind of just slide to the left and it's going to give you enough time to kind of just fit it in there because for some reason with this play you don't get a really uh, a lot of time when it comes to being in the pocket uh, i'll go ahead and show you all that right now you can get it off for sure but for some reason the blocking on the play j just isn't that good as y'all can see he gets instantly in on me so it's a lot more consistent if you're just sliding uh slot protecting to the left and just slide a little bit to the left and most of the time you'll have enough time to go ahead and throw that cover three beater and um a lot of times you're either going to score a touchdown or you're going to pick up a lot of yards with this play um moving on to boys uh the same effect is really with uh cover four drop it works the same as that way so if we go to cover four drop really quick uh, just do the same as that setup that we were doing before. You don't really have to slot protect anything against a cover four drop because it's not that many people really coming. But as y'all can see, this man still is picking me. But y'all see that pocket presence? Y'all see? I know, I know we can't really do nothing. But did y'all see that pocket presence? All right, let's go ahead and run that back though. But dang, he had me really running for my life just now. Like, that was really ridiculous. Hopefully, he can hold up just for a sec. Oh my bro! Oh my goodness, bro! I don't know what's going on. This man is just dominating. So, all right, boys. So, let's run this back. Let's actually double team this man because this man is just doing whatever the heck he wants to. I got to be very precise with the words I'm using currently. But as y'all can see, it's going to work the same as that way. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, I tried to get a little bit too shifty with that. But y'all can see that it works the same as that way with a cover four. Um, I guess just in case double, t double team that DT if he's going crazy like that. Um but also uh moving on so we went over cover three and cover four how to beat uh, i'm going to be showing y'all how to beat cover four quarters for a uh, one play touchdown nothing's going to guard it whatsoever it's going to be the verts half back uh we're just going to work this against a cover four quarters it's really like a glitch almost or well it's not really a glitch but it's just the concepts and the match concept with cover four quarters all you got to do is just motion out the running back and um x is going to be wide open for a touchdown nobody's gonna be guarding him whatsoever and uh it's just gonna be a free touchdown for you if your opponent is in cover four quarters very easy nothing too crazy very simple setup no adjustments needed you just need to motion out your running back and x is going to be the read against cover four quarters as you can see nobody just covers him and um yeah it's a walk-in touchdown so nothing too crazy there this does not work with cover four palms but I am going to give y'all another solution when it comes to cover four palms really quick. So to beat cover four palms, the play that you want to be using is going to be the wide corner. Um, I can say cover four palms. All you want to go ahead and do is just put X on a street and you want to put R1 on a slant. The read on the play is going to be the running back. You'll see that the running back will just come across the field wide open. 
against a curve for uh, uh, palms. As y'all can see, it's going to consistently just pick you up yards every single time. So uh, pretty easy. X on the street, R1 on the slant. Very simple. Wait for the running back to kind of just clear. And as y'all can see, it's going to be money every single time. Um, depending on what you can do after, you can score a touchdown because it's basically one on one, and uh, it's really just beating that last safety. So that's going to be how you beat cover four palms. Uh, going over how to beat cover two for a one play touchdown, uh, we are going to be using the shot H option. Um, this play is very simple. So all you want to do, you want to reroute circle and actually put him on a smoke screen. Uh, you want to put S on a street. You want to go ahead and put square on an route, or you can put them on the slant. Just kind of whatever you want to do with them. Really, the uh, main read, well, what you need to do on the right-hand side of the field is the most important. You do whatever you want to with the running back as well. So, as you can see, you want to go ahead and throw it right there. Uh, a lot of times, you'll get a rat catch animation, and you'll be able to take that for a touchdown. If you're a little bit scared of that, too, you can always just um, kind of uh, possession and catch it towards the sideline. I actually did the timing kind of terrible, so it's kind of why it keeps getting like batted down and stuff. But if you wait a little bit longer and just go ahead and possession catch it, a lot of times the safety or the corner won't even be in the play whatsoever. And let's see, this time if you get the timing down pat two, you can really be very effective with this play against cover two. And if you're in a situation where your opponent isn't in cover two, you do have square and circle uh, for those check downs, even though it won't be a ton of yards, but it will be positive yards and that's better than like a sack or an interception so another wrinkle that y'all can go ahead and mix in your cover two beater that y'all can go ahead and use and it's going to be very effective and just allow you to move the ball a little bit more easier um now moving on showing y'all some more things out of this formation boys uh we do have a man beating play that i'm going to be showing y'all in today's video and really i just use the motion inside cross if i'm being honest to, uh to go up against man coverage uh what i typically like to do i just put um r1 on a slant and then i like to put square on a slant and then typically i'll just put circle on a in route or a different abbreviation what i'll do i'll put r1 on a drag route and then i would just put um like circle on a slant but typically i'm gonna reset it this is probably the best setup, though, if I'm being honest. Just go ahead, put R1 on your slant, put square on the slant. And you can honestly leave circle on his route if you want to, or you can just go like that. But everybody's going to be open on the play. You got X. X is going to be a great read against man coverage. Depending on what your opponent is doing, whether he's man blitzing, you can actually take it for a touchdown. Um, but, yeah, we also got other reads, too. We still got the running back motioning, so that's just going to keep our opponent kind of off guard. As you can see, that's how we actually get hit. But with those slants, those slants are basically going to cut man coverage a lot of the times too. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run it back just so y'all can see. Very simple, very easy. Uh, oh my jeez, bro. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it didn't go over his head. But as y'all can see, I'm just going to the instant replay. Y'all can see that we have man beating routes on the field. Though we got this slant. We got this slant coming across the field. Getting open. We got the tight end initially. Now with the tight end, you got to make sure that you know when you're going to hit him because as soon as he cuts, that's kind of when you want to throw it. If you throw it any any time kind of later, you'll throw an interception. So you want to keep that in mind. You got this inside post that's going to get open too as well. So very consistent play that y'all can go ahead and run against man coverage as well. Uh, another thing I want to show y'all today's video, um, that is a pretty nice play that y'all can go ahead and run. You do have a slip screen in here too. Slip screens are always good. So we'll just run out one good time. Y'all can kind of see how that works. But slip screens, I mean, it never hurts to have an extra screen pass in your arsenal. Um, as y'all can see, it's crazy that we almost can't get that awful. But y'all can see, like, just having a screen pass in your arsenal can just be nice. Just to mix it in. So um, moving on. I want to show y'all one last thing out of this formation that I really like. We have an RPO. Um, where is it? It's going to be the RPO peak slant. This is a very effective play. Uh, you can run this against any coverage. Really good run play, honestly. The reason it's a really good run play is because it develops so slow. And um, it gives you plenty of time to kind of read the hole. And like I said, whenever you're running the ball, boys, you never want to really hold the acceleration. You just want to just hit the hole, and then after that, you want to hit your acceleration. But as y'all can see, the blocking is pretty good on the play. 
Um, it's really consistent. And if there's a situation where the user just goes and shoots the gap, you also got this RPO like screen pass that you can throw in. It's going to consistently work for you and pick you up decent yards every single time. So it's just something that your opponent is basically going to have to respect you because this RPO is, is very effective in this game. But boys, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you hit the like, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, man, click that notification bell.